Baby, baby, stop. Why are you doing this to us? I thought we agreed you're going to slow down with this. Why are you doing this? Why? Violent. I stood there for some minutes knocking. You wouldn't even hear me. How can you hear me when you're engrossed with this? <laughs> wow. Please stop. Stop. Benjamin, stop. This is not good for your health. You're killing yourself. You're killing us. Stop. I don't even stand in huh? Okay, I'm sorry. You're walking to my house. No respect for me. They tell me one of you. I said I am How sorry. How dare you talk to me? Did you only hear when I said I'm sorry? I'm waiting for that person that will come and talk to me about tolerance and patience. I'm waiting for that person. I'll just ask the person to go and become the punch bag. Oh, really? Maybe you talk as if you don't need that. I don't care anymore. I don't care. If that love her so much that he doesn't give a little about my security, he should go and become the punch bag. I'm done. Honestly. Hey, I don't know. Claim the loss of them, and you can't even like do anything to make sure that the person you love is happy. And all you do is to choose cocaine over your fiance. Who does that? Jane, you have nothing to worry about. Anymore. It's all good. The season has been to cut my legs with the glass. Wait, Oh, really? You, I know. You still be the one to stop me of that. I think that you love me so much. I can't do without him. You, okay? Not anymore. Not anymore. Get something for us. Baby girl, I am not in that mood. She went to the moon once. At every slightest provocation, Benjamin will use my daughter as a coaching bag. Why? Is this right? Who does this at this time of, 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 of the world now? It's very, very unacceptable. Whether you think it is, it's immaterial at this point in time. Because I can't have my daughter's car brought to me only in the name of marriage. Mom, this was what you did before. And Sam nearly 14. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to be I want you to consider that you start this. Why he kills the sister? Oh, really? Okay, let me inform you. King says she is not going back there ever again. So make an arrangement, go bring back her things from that boy's house. What is all this? Look at that baby. Talk to him. Let me talk to him. He's a one to one. Not to know what? Tell me to what end? What else do you want to verify? The evidences of your daughter's body should be enough evidence and proof for you. Chief, please and please do not go there and mess up things for us. Allow me to handle this woman. Allow me. Handle it fast. Dad, I support mom on this. Dad, so. Dad, Dad. 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 Dad,
前进。You know the Bible that brings me whenever I come to your house. Hmm? You see this money and the wine inside. Everything is for you. As a responsible man, I know how to take care of my supposed father in law. So it is my responsibility to take good care of you. To make sure that you are okay, your household is okay as well. You see, I have this complaint. Yeah, so Chief, something is bothering me. As a matter of fact, I can no longer concentrate. Your daughter, the love of my life, I don't know where she is. For the past three days now, I've been calling her. She no longer takes my call, nor return the calls. Even the text messages, she doesn't reply. I'm bothered. I am missing my love. So I'm here to know what's up. What is going on? The new things are for me. And there are more from where this is coming from. <laughs> you see the reason? <laughs> Telling everybody who has to listen, you are a good man. You see, you are a good man, but my family will not understand. Yeah. And, you see, I told them that conditions can turn a man around for bad. You are not a bad man, but the situation in the country today can make someone appear bad. This is why I love you so much, because you are a reasonable man. You reason like a matured man that you are. That is why I always come to you to explain all these kind of things. Chief, I love your daughter so much. No doubt. Honestly speaking, I don't know what came over me that very day I laid my hand on her. I was so mad, I had issues at work. So I got home that very day, I was doing my stuff normally. And she just passed in like that. And ben, are you, are you serious? Are you serious right now? Are you kidding me? So this is what you have to say to my father for using his daughter as a punching bag. You sit here and cap rubbish. If you know what is good for your heartless heart, take this money and this drink out of my father's compound. Babe, stop that. No, father, I will not stop it. And I am totally disappointed at you. If you don't care enough about my welfare, about my security, if all you give a hoot about is your selfish interest, I will fight for myself. I will not stop. So this is all you have to do. Sit here and listen to him tell you rubbish. How he's using your own daughter as punching bag. Is that all you have to do, Dad? I insist that you should stop all this rabbit. They are not necessary. I cannot. I cannot sit here as a man and allow you insult a man, your husband, in my presence. It is never done. Remember that there is always tomorrow. Hey, 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 no, Dad, don't tell me that. I need to be alive today before I can talk about tomorrow. It's only the, the people who are living that talks about tomorrow. If I'm dead, I can't talk about tomorrow. This monster here is capable of sending me to an early grave and I won't let that happen. Please, I am warning you. Take these things out of this place. Oh. Take them out. We don't need them. Why? Take them out. Why? Take them out. If I come back here and meet you, you won't like me. My love, don't mind me. You know how these children, children of nowadays, they will always run da 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 da. We have to think in deep. Eh? I don't know. Yeah. I have not, I'm not mad. I mean, she's my wife to be, like you said, and my husband. 
but the thing is, I will just lay low. Obviously, she is smart, you know, but everything will be fine again. So I beg to take my leave right now so I can just go home and cool up. I'm happy I've seen her. She's fine. I'm okay. Thank you for your understanding. claims we have a bright future together. But I guess that's because we helped him in getting to federal contracts and he made a new leg. For me, it's not about his wealth. Did you listen to yourself? We're talking about you and not your father. If anything should happen to you tomorrow, you have yourself to blame. Can't you see? Oh, who am I? I wouldn't want to say much, so I don't interfere in your family's matter. But, baby girl, your happiness should come first. And that should be your priority, and not the other way around. Hmm. Jenny, thank you so much. I appreciate your concern. Confused. I don't know what to do. Ben is not giving me breathing space to even go out there and see if I can mingle, probably meet someone else and fall in love. My father is not helping issues. Kim. Yes. I'm tired. He's restricting my movement. Everything. Kim. No woman should be seeing what you are seeing. Gosh. Like, what are you seeing? Nobody, no woman should ever see what you are seeing. Are you in a cage? Do they tie your hands and legs that you can move around? I will only advise you not to rush into my revenge. Make sure he is what you want and you're ready so that you won't regret tomorrow. <laughs> Hi. 
Something must have happened to my brother. How do you know men don't know his whereabouts? I'm saying you should. Uh, Mel, how could your brother leave the company and trust it in his hands as a company manager and just, just like that? Are you not sensing foul play? I will go to that company to accept it. And if by the time I get to that company and they are not giving me the right thing I need to know, I will get the whole management arrested so they could tell me what happened to my son. You're right about that, Father. Yeah. Get the police involved if you smell any foul play. Someone in that office can get him out in order to play a fast one on us, as Mother is doing about other companies. I don't need to advise you, Father, on what to do. You know his capability. Let him know. <laughs> she tells her, going to your company to raise boss is not advice. Don't just go there and accuse them of what they know nothing about. And if you must go, please tread the caution. Reverend Father Man, she tells her, if you are telling me that my son did not come here to let you know where he was going. Why are you insisting that I must not go to my company to make a rest of my staff to ascertain the truth? If you can trust me, Chief Ezra, don't go to your company with police to arrest him. It's better you make inquiries first. But then has accepted everything you wanted and swore. What else do you want? I want him to put it in writing and get a lawyer to sign it. Kimberly? Yes, mom. Yes, I'm just trying to be alive for you all. I understand what you're trying to do, but to me, it, it, it looks like you are trying to catch a man preventing him from raising his hand on you anytime you go wrong, thereby giving you the right to do wrong at any point in time without anybody questioning you. That's why I say it. Mom? Did I say anything wrong here? Chief. The way that came out wasn't right at all. It sounded as if you're encouraging Ben to mistreat your daughter, to hit her at every slightest provocation, whether she does wrong or not, bah, he should hit. That is what you exactly portrayed. Well, why are we even beating around the bush? Do whatever suits you. You are an adult. But just know that all I'm concerned is I want you to have a better life, you and your children. That's all. Your mother chose me because she wants a better life. Mom, did you hear that? <laughs> Dad, listen, I'm not trying to be difficult. I just want to have a happy home, a peaceful marriage. I wouldn't want to get married and I'll start calling you and mom every minute of the day to come sort issues for my husband and I. I wouldn't want that. If I can't have control over all of this right now, when do you think I would? Is it when I must have had three kids or probably when he, had, he must have strangled me to death? Please, Kim, I understand everything you are trying to say. Vividly, I understand you. But your father here is making matters worse. He doesn't even want to understand what we are saying. He's not helping matters at all. Mom, 
make your husband to understand. I just want Ben to put everything to right then. Get a lawyer to sign it. I'll watch him for a while before I agree to finally walk down the aisle with him. Forever is too long to be sad and miserable. Please. Lawyer. How could he go there? Timothy has been calling the company. He has maintained the routine calls, you know, running the company from his unknown destination. Then, where is my son? Where is my son? And the number you call? A secure line that he cannot trace. I don't know what is happening to Timothy. I don't know why it's happening to him. The Reverend Father, you went to see. What about him? Mm. They sound so well, like what's going on. Ah, no. He can't know what is going on and let us go through emotional stress. I will see you tomorrow. Sit yourself. But believe me, you will not get anything. Thank you, cousin, to know anything. Yes. This world we are now, mm -hmm. no woman wants to suffer. Oh yes, no woman will accept you the way you are now and agree to marry you. Listen, first of all, you need to get an apartment. Yes, you need to get an apartment. At least try to be a little bit comfortable, just the way we are enjoying now. Because why? Women like privacy. She need a place she can at least visit once in a while. Why building the relationship? Uh, Joe, just just hold it right there. I, I I understand you're indirectly trying to say that if I find a woman, I cannot bring her to your house. Come on, Timothy. Don't be a bad air with bad order to spoil this air we are breathing in this conversation. So let me ask you. If somebody tells you that I, Joe, could do such a thing, you believe the person? Not that. Then what? Look, I understand everything you said. And I appreciate the fact that you boldly told me the truth as my friend. But I have a plan. Everyone does. Except my plan fails and my hope shatters. But before then, I'll stick to my plan. My brother, your plans will not fail. As a matter of fact, this house is your house. Okay? <laughs> Listen, my prayer is that one day that God will invite us. Amen. <laughs> Baby girl, Ben bought so many things to ask for forgiveness. Wow. Yes, he bought me some clothes, shoes, bags. He even said um, he would take me to the jewelry shop so I can select some things just to make up. That's really good. I'm so happy for you, girlfriend. Once you're happy, that's all that matters to me. I pray he changes. <laughs> then again, I would want you to come along when I'm going to the jewelry shop. Please. Mm. No. Join us. Why? I want. You guys need your privacy. And moreover, I have someone coming to the house today. So just go and drop me off. Then you go and join him. I don't <laughs> like you again. Listen, Joe. All I want is a woman that would love me for who I am. Not because of what I have. And I don't want to say it's not possible before you attack me again. Anything is possible under the sun. But it is one in a million. Exactly. That one shot is all I need to make it right. And listen, my friend Timothy. Please. Please and please. I don't want women to play with your emotion when they realize this is what you want. You know that saying, all that girl does is not good. I swear. 
if anyone does not listen to your advice based on your experience with women, that person is done for in this life if they fall a victim. And I will not associate with such person when the time comes because I knew what I passed through in the hands of women. And that is why I commit everything into God's hands. I swear, I am relying on God, honestly. I need to learn this skill more so that I can start using the designs I've been downloading from the internet. Huh? All you need is to focus. Put all your mind and energy. I think I'm trying. Of course, yes. Just imagine if you have started this at your tender age. Maybe by now. And I'll be coming here again. But I thought that going to school was the best option. Until my uncle's wife accused me of rape. Whereas she was the one that lured me to sleep with her. Stop. Stop reminding me of that incident. It makes me sick. Do you know what it means that my son slept with my brother's wife? God forbid. I don't worry. As long as my redeemer leaves us. I will fulfill my destiny. You yes. must fulfill your glorious destiny. It was a time you do now. I know you, but you make it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I can slant it. This is sweet. Um, so, Timothy, hmm? I want to ask you something. Shoot. It's about what you told me. Mm. How do you intend to achieve the plan? Are you sure it's going to work? Hmm. Joe. First of all, nobody plans to fail. And secondly, my plan is going to work. It must work. How do you intend to go about it? Because mainly it requires enough money. Timothy, if assisting you means helping you with money, then it's not going to be possible. You know what I'm going through. Eh? Sending every penny that comes into my hand for my sick mother in the village. You know now. Look, I'm not talking about you helping me out with money. It's my cross. I'll carry it. But, um, I just... I mean, you should make the most of it. So, what are you insinuating? I'm insinuating that I would need your advice, your guideline, and I'll need you to stand with me. That's all. Moral support. Mm. Then you have it. I'll be there to support you. Maybe support. You. 
<laughs> no, this 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 chicken is sweet. Yeah. Mm. There's something I want to tell you. And I would it? want you to keep it to yourself. What is it? Did anything happen? Mom, it's about Ben. I can't do forever with him. Can you lower your voice? So that they don't hear you. What are you talking about? What did he do? Mom, could you believe that Ben is into drugs? He's a drug dealer. Shh. That's not true. How is that possible? He doesn't look it at all. Have you seen a drug dealer before, Mom? How do they look? No, what I'm saying is that he doesn't look like one. What did he do that made you conclude he's a drug dealer? Did any other thing happen? Mom, countless times I've seen cocaine in his closet. Yes, the kind of friends he keeps, the call he makes. None of this shows he's into government contracts like he stated. I'm no longer a child, Mom. You know your father said he made some kind of background investigation of him and verified he is genuine. And even getting us contracts, that could also be a cover up. Don't you think so? Oh, oh, you know what? I just want you to be careful. Don't behave as if, as if you told me anything. Let's conceal it for now. Everything will be fine, trust me. I will, but I just want you to know that I can't spend forever with a drug dealer, a violent man. I can't. My happiness is so sacrosanct to me. I know. Don't worry, we'll talk about it. We'll get to know it. We'll get to the root of it. Mm, I just don't want to get married to a drug dealer and a violent man. I, I can't take it anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't tell that yet. Yeah. I mean, you can get that. You can't be serious as to go to that part of your side. If you are a shooter, you will do it. If I wear your shoes, I will do everything within my power. As in, you are going to the police. They are working on me. You mm -hmm. need to as far as soiling your hands. Not soil my hands. I should be going to the doctor. I want to be the And what's the difference between that and what I told you last week, Jimmy? I don't understand. What is this? How? It's something like what? I saw Your son, Timothy, has virtually told me everything in the past without telling me this way. Because he knew that all of you will come to me inquiring, just as you are doing now. And you said virtually, which means there are things he does without telling me. Well, uh, all I know is that I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Now you are talking like a father that knows his son. Ajumi is a prodigal son. You wouldn't have met any of your properties when you returned from Canada. As simple as that.
So, what did the Reverend Father say? What did that interest? What did that interest? I don't understand. What's going on? Well, I went to see a French doctor in the fireman or something. And what did the doctor say? It's just what Father Mike said. You mean you took our source left to a little bit of a fire? You know what you are asking. What other way, what length can one go in such a missing time? What's in your head? I don't understand. You know too well that if our son is here, they will be happy with you. My son gave me no chance. I've done nothing compared to what other families could do in such a permissive time. What? Are you the one who took him to me like this? Honey? from him. Are you hearing me? I said I never expected that from him. I'm not happy about it at all. Because the person in question we're talking about here is my son too. And as a mother, I never thought of him going to a native doctor or any negative places to ask of him because I knew too well that my son is safe. So please, talk senses into him. You need to talk to him. You need to talk to him. I'm not happy about it at all. Thanks, I heard you. Bye.
Yes, Papa. Who are those people? Oh, Papa. Uh, well, some some nice people that I help uh, get their food because I was already ahead of the line. We decided to make my journey easy. Indeed, it is easy. Yes, Papa. Your food is here. Oh, Just how you want it. Oh, I even told them to keep some. Johnny, yeah baby, I'm just thinking, how can such a nice good looking guy be doing carpenter with his dad at his age? Um, well you heard him say he's just um, helping his father out, why he's looking for something better. <laughs> My dear, what do you expect? It's not about business, he's just doing his business. Yeah. Moreover, is he a graduate or what? Working in an No, oil he's company. a graduate. He said he didn't get job. Oh. Yes. Oh, That's not befitting. He's too cute for that. He's not my business. So, Kim, can you be saying that? Oh, the food. Yeah. The truth is, I can't wait to get to the house and taste it. It smells so good. <laughs> the aroma is something else. I know. I know. You will love it. Ah, food has done me very bad though. So I took out time to, you know, find out where to get this food. So now when you eat it, you will love it. Aww. <laughs> no problems. I'll give you the shirt. <laughs> I pray I like it. You will love it. Let's just get home. I can't wait. I'm so hungry. You're salivating already. I'm telling you. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't just wait. So believe me, in this life, everything is turn by turn. Okay? And my own turn will come. And I will succeed. Yes. I... I had a great opportunity today, but I couldn't do anything because I didn't want to embarrass myself. And what opportunity are you talking about? Hmm? Timothy, you've been following me up and down since. Now you are done because I asked you a question. Look, I went to the restaurant to get food for my father and I, and I met this girl. She came with her friend, they drove to the restaurant to also get food. So I helped them, and in return, they drove me back to my father's shop. Honestly, that girl is just the kind of girl I want in my life. Hmm? Huh? Are you the one saying this? Why? Timothy, are you the one saying this? What do you mean? Because the Timothy that I know will tell me that he's looking for a good Homely and the God fearing girl. So, how come suddenly you're not having interest with a girl that owns a car? No. There is no harm in dreaming big. I mean, I didn't say, I didn't say there is a harm in dreaming big. Hey, I'm just asking to know if my guy is okay because you are sounding like somebody who is not normal. Joe, take it easy, man. I only shared my thoughts with you. Huh? Uh, why, are you why, why are you fighting me? I'm not fighting you. I'm not fighting you. I'm just trying to make sure if my guy is still on the right track. He must be here, man. Oh, you are taking this thing too seriously. I, I'm not even sure I could see the girl again. Like the day they give me stress. It's all right if I if I fantasize about uh, 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 having a girl like that. I know whether I go see him again. I bet free me. I have the right to think big, even if it's for a moment. Automatically, I need the time. Understand? Oh. Things have been stabilizing since then. It's okay. Oh, it's fine now. And how about cook you told me? Please add my own. I need a very shade one. You know, let me call you back. Why oh, are you laughing at me? Nobody's enjoying any coke. But I have you mentioned coke now. Are you trying to deny it? 
you want to eat alone? No, nobody's eating alone. I only asked him to help me get one on her way back home. Uh, hey. That's a man. King's fiancé has sourced another big contract for us. This time is from the federal capital of Nigeria, Abuja. This one thing. <laughs> that is to say we are now controlling the central bank. We will bring the central bank down to this place. <laughs> That's nice. Mm -hmm. By the grace of God, it will work. Mm -hmm. And you know, Ben, he's used to the system. You will only post him. And it will come to pass. It has come to pass. So, listen, that is the beauty of having a son in law. He is caring. And he looks after his wife's people. You see, Ben is such a nice young man. That's my blessing him. Help me to talk to her. No. Bend down for him. Let him be the man of the house. So that things will continue to flow. He will continue to bless us and God will be using him. God will complete that good work. He started in him. That would be a problem. I'll order for your token. No, please tell her to bring the one, even the one from the mortuary that is so dead. <laughs> Without a cook man. Hey! Trying to mess up my city. Baby, stop. What's true of this fact? I'm not messing up anywhere. Okay, I've already bought the things I want to look for, but so I'm finished. I decided to take this last. You see how stupid you are? Lazy brat. You bought stuff you want to cook and then you decided to eat this nonsense in my living room. Why can't you just cook at once? Are you mad? I don't even have anything to eat but this. What is this? You're eating this useless no. biscuit in my house? Are you mad? Are you lost? No. Are you a child? Listen, I'm going straight into my room. By the time I come back, I want you to clean this place up. Arrange my room the way it's supposed to be. And mop this place. Am I understood? Baby, baby, for once be romantic, stop all this. No, are you so talking so back to me? So huh? Who romantic help? Oh, really? I can see you love beating. You like me touching you. I said I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. Come back here. Get me. I'm sorry. Can I ask you again? 
How are you and how is Ben? I hope you two are doing great. Mom, Ben is there. Ben is there. What do you mean by that? Mom, the truth is, I can't really wait to completely cut off from Ben. I can't do this for the rest of my life. I am tired. Don't say this to the hearing of your father. Especially now that he's expecting something from Ben. He will win everything. Really? Mom, so it's all about dad and his selfish interest. You all would rather mortgage my happiness for what he's getting from Ben, right? Do you even care about me? My feelings, my happiness, my safety, my security. Do you people care? It's fine. No problems. Um, Mom, where is Frances? I need her to do something for me. Uh -uh. That's a lot of interesting work. And you can add to a lot of things that you don't want to share. So please, whatever that is going on, do not throw everything 
out of your country. You can talk to me, but you don't want to share. Jenny, I'm fine. I don't really see what you want to do. I don't know. You're sick worried about Benjamin, right? Yes, you can lie to him. He's written all of it. I can see it. But you know, the world you're going about it is just not good. I know he's not a good man, but the way you're going about it feels like he wants to revenge or something. I mean, he didn't do the same thing He got the message. I am tired. I'm fed up. I deserve better. I deserve true love. I deserve happiness. And Benjamin is not giving any of those to me. And my father wouldn't even see business with me. It's frustrating. I get it. I know. But your mom. You're still with her, right? You can share things with her. I think you should speak to your mom about it. Yes, she will be able to advise you. Baby girl, I don't want you to make any mistakes. But you don't need to ask for tomorrow. If you are not doing it, please speak to your mom about it. Alright, I'll talk to you. Mom, mom, this is wrong. This is wrong. This is pure humiliation and totally uncalled for. The Timothy you're fighting for has brought it with his two hands and full chest. And you're here killing yourself. That's because you didn't have an option. No, tell me, how do I explain this to people? How? You don't owe any explanation to anyone. Timothy made his choice and he's living with it. That's obviously not his choice. You were there. Don't even ask him more. When dad came to ask for your hand in marriage, was this how your parents treated him? Did they humiliate him to this extent? That's enough. Enough! You need to rest your head before you blow everything out of proportion. I'm what not blowing anything out of proportion, mom, for crying out loud. I'm just stating the obvious. This is pure humiliation. No man deserves to be treated in that manner. Kimberly, just calm down. Like I told you earlier, you need to rest your head. For your father, I will talk to you, okay? Just go in and rest. Mom, talk to your husband. Talk to dad. If nothing is done and done or done, I might do something very nasty that will affect all of us. Talk to him, Mom. I deserve happiness. I deserve to be happy. I haven't done anything wrong. I don't want them because I don't want them. I want Timothy, and no one can make me change my mind. No matter how much you need to for that. Mas, no. Oh, man. It is your one big head. Moon. You cannot use that head and think of something this level and responsible. That's my mission. It is poor. Is wretched that's to live it for me. It's my choice. Love me like that. He is poor. I know. He is wretched that's to live him for me. It's my choice. Love me like that. His love is special. He knows my heart.
Thanks for everything, Kim. You're welcome. Hi. Hello. Kim, that's uh, my friend and host, Joe. Nice to meet you, Joe. Nice to meet you, too. I have to be on my way. Huh? Okay. Kim. Can't you come in for a while? At least you stop by. Um, I'm sorry, I actually have to rush somewhere. Maybe we do this some other time. Some other time? Oh, come on, Kim. It will not take time. Eh? Besides, I don't like it when someone gets to my doorstep and refuses to come in. Come on. Five minutes. Across my heart. Okay? Great. Bad boy. <laughs> this way, please. Thank you. Mm. Um, are you chatting with another man? <laughs> um, imagine now, Thomas, an Asna fan, saying that uh, if Asna win a prize, I must. But they have money. Whereas they still have about 17 matches. Can you imagine that? <laughs> they are daydreamers. A very big daydreamer. It is just like Chelsea that are in the position, saying that they will carry the Premier League after 20 matches each. How is that possible? They are 10 matches. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Because probably they feel they are the only one winning, and others will just sleep and watch them win all the time. I don't know why they, they feel so comfortable. Look, in Premier League, in English Premier League, anything can happen. My friend, well, that's true. Anything can happen when you are up and doing. No sitting at the bottom like Satan. And you expect me that could happen. How is that possible? Um, guys, please, one minute. Let me take this call. Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm at home. In my parents' house. Oh, really? You are at your father's house? Um, I'm, I'm lying down on the couch. Yes, in the sitting room. Oh, you are even at the parlor. Relaxing. Alright. Since you are at your father's place, I mean, I wanted to see you. Um, yes, but can I call you back? But don't stress. All right. I will see you tomorrow. All right. Guys, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I just had to lie. It's okay. But I have to be on my way. Yeah. Oh. Are you seeing what I was talking about? I mean, can you... Imagine the embarrassment, Chief. I'm here with you in your sitting room, and your daughter, my love, is telling me that she's here also. When I start to react now, they will start saying I'm a bad man. I am this, I am heartless. I'm a woman beater. Is this not an embarrassment to my personality? Benjamin, one of you. No more Malaysia. And someone is toying with my heart. I don't think your daughter knows what it takes for me to pour out my love on her like that. Honestly speaking, Chief, your daughter doesn't know what she's doing. Because I'm a very busy man. You know what I do. You know the amount of money I 
I get. And she's just toying with my heart as if I'm a small boy. Can you see? Honestly, I'm short of words. These children, they will never cease to amaze me. I wish the mother is around to see, to see for herself. But, Frances, I hope you heard her clearly. Dad, just like he always says that there is no smoke to that fire. What do you mean by that? Maybe she's attending to something very important or close to the house, thinking that you are home. Must she lie to me? Well, tell me, must she lie to me? That means she doesn't love me. So in, in other words, I'm wasting my precious time. After what I've done for this family, after my investment, you know how I do things, I bring money to you, for you all to be happy. And the woman I love is messing with me. Come on, Chief. You know me too well. Benjamin, one of Europe, is not someone that anybody would just toy with. It's okay. The embarrassment is too much. I dare to take my leave too. I will see you some other time. You are an idiot, a buffoon. Look at what you said before, be, be, before this gentleman. Why don't you? Anyway, I have no business with you until your sister comes back. Is wretched and does to live him for me. It's my choice. Love him like that. He is wretched and does to live him for me. It's my choice. Love him like that. His love is special. Hey, baby girl. Welcome. Thank you, Dad. How are you? Where's mm -hmm. mom and dad? They are inside, but the problem is that Benjamin was his father when he was calling him. Oh my god, are you missing? Jesus, Francis. All you have seen is Frances Nightingale. Have you sang for her? That good evening. Oh, good evening. May that evening, may that good evening turn to bad evening for you, idiot. That's a huge cause. You're even on your own child. My daughter, I get it for you, Jesus. Amen. Nothing will happen to you. Amen. Who would have all the wrong she has done? Not to him. Causes on my own child, your child. It's all right. Maybe I'll go. I will take a flight to get a KFC chicken for her. To congratulate her for lying. Lying to me. Then I'm sorry, but I was close by. <laughs> Why are you chasing them around? Are they your me? This is your two drivers. This is my Maru. No, 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 no. Keep supporting them. Keep supporting them. One day, just one day, the shame, the load of shame she will come back with. You will heap it on your head. God, judge will, your head. God will judge you and I. If you or I are the, is the one raising these children right, what is wrong with you? Why are you talking like that? No, I, I, I don't think that. You want to fall and break your waist. Then you blame them. Oh, God, sorry. You said what? I you sorry. You just said sorry. Is it a crime? Come on, get away. The thunder that was striking is being pressed up in Canada. Idiot. Ha! Sir, I've got to ask that great family. Can you calm down? What is it? What is bringing you? I don't know. I don't know. It's simple now. Where did she go? Did she tell you that she was going? But it's 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 come out. I'm watching. 
is poor. No, he is wretched. Living for me is my choice. But of a true Timothy, mm -hmm. I must confess. Despite her rich lifestyle, she's still homely and down to earth. I enjoyed her company. I wish she would come again. The girl is just a cool girl. Let's just cross our hearts because I believe that she enjoyed our company too. It's just that she looks like someone that have a rich boyfriend or maybe rich parents but what matters is happiness oh yes timothy you know these rich people they can go to any length just to find love they don't even mind going to the dirtiest gutter. talking about having a boyfriend if she has a boyfriend i advise you stay clear oh yes because I don't want somebody coming here to look for us or to start treating our lives. That's the part that I hate so much. How these rich guys intimidate us with their wealth. It pisses me off. Timothy, the truth of the matter is that if you're in the same position, you might do the same. You will go any length to protect what is yours. Thank God you said might. Hmm? Well, if it is meant to happen, faith will bring us together again. I'm sure about that. She's a nice girl. Wait a minute, Timo. Are you talking about one of those girls that drove you here some time ago? Yes, Papa. I don't know, you know better. But such girls can be good or worse because of their lifestyle. But if she likes you as you claim, then she can volunteer herself and help you chase your dream and your desire. You're right, Papa. But my friend that is watching me think for the while. Um, he likes her. And he said as much as she looks homely and nice, that he's afraid she might be wild and bad because she's from a rich home. <laughs> it's also right. Yes. <laughs> You can proceed with her, or you stay away, as you rightly say. The rich mingles with the rich. Well, Baba, those, those words are in quotes. In reality, the rich are always looking for what money cannot buy. And I know that's what she's searching for. You are equally right. But the choice is for you. Yes, if you make the right choice and you succeed, you share with me. But if it backfires, you equally share with me. But take note, you are the one to bear the consequences alone. You bear it alone. Not with me. But you share the fortune with me, but the Lord you share it with me. How do you do that? Go ahead, Mr. Job. I can see you're doing well. I'm not joking, I think I'll fall in love the second time. Please, I 
and I don't think he about his personality, his cameras, the way he talks to me. <laughs> see, 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 I don't want too much talk of your wisdom. I'm just telling you that I'm down in love with you. I love the way and the feeling. I'll call you back, my dad is in. Dad, I thought you went out or you didn't come back with your car. I came back on time. The car is with the mechanic, he's fixing one or two things there. Um, well, Dad, I hope you didn't hear my conversation. I had everything clearly. <laughs> Young love. <laughs> You see, I told you that soon you will start enjoying it. The same thing I told Ben when he came here complaining. <laughs> uh, only God knows how he will feel hearing all these vibes. <laughs> um, Dad, please, I want to ask you for a favor. Do not tell him about this phone conversation. Please, Dad. Okay, there's no problem. I will not tell him. I promise. Thank you, Dad. I, I will you. not tell him. Um, you see, if you continue like this, hey, hey, everything will be settled. You see, you know what we will stand to gain from there? What this family will stand to gain from him? Yes. Where's your mom? Let me call her. She's in the kitchen. Mom? Girlfriend, my dad scared the hell out of me. I didn't even know if he was listening to me. Thank God you can only do it in that unit itself. Oh, shit. What? Hey? Have you just found out what happened when the father made her to try to cheat from them doing it to the floor? So definitely be like a war between two families. You don't know your father. Your father was killed now. He will kill you. He might even disown you. Yes, because you're trying to cut him off the way. Get out of here. 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 Or let me do everything I want. The ones I'm thinking of, how you feel in the next day, all the way down. The first day, you're dead. So you've got to have a big man, that's the big man. He will listen, he will listen, come on. As no say, oh, if you come on. You have no say Big man turns to big man On the bus here, on the bus here Big man turns to big man He will listen, he will listen Yeah, hello? How about for now? You never come home till now, what did that happen? Oh, not you know. It's just that Kim has been here twice, asking of you. So I, I was wondering if you don't give up, Bella. <laughs> you, you are not normal. So where are you now? Oh, oh, you went to your father's shop. Oh, okay, okay. I do and come back. Oh. Yes, do and come back. I gave plenty gist for you. My one! <laughs> yes. Okay, no. <laughs> one more thing. As you are coming back, 
help me branch at the Maman Kechi. Buy a very hot akala with that round bread. Yes, now within one job this night. I know no issue. Come quick, go. Okay. <laughs> My one. Mm. My one, my one. Say what I don't need this gate, though. They make a define you like American visa. Baby! Hi, darling. Baby boo. Why are you so excited like you want to love you? Baby boo. My love. <laughs> I am so happy. In fact, I want something bigger than a target. You've yes. always been a winner. Thank you. Keep winning. Uh huh. So, what is this that you want this time around? Um, actually, I don't know how to start telling you this, but I'm happy because this good news I got is something I've been expecting in this hour relationship. What could that be? Okay. I got this good news how you were calling your friends. Telling them how much you love me, how much you care about me. We are just, you know, practically telling your friend that you cannot do without me. And I'm so happy to hear that. Oh, with this, I can now say I am really in love with you. Because the love for me is genuine. And I know that you mean it, right? <laughs> we love you so much. Keep this to yourself. You and I know that your dad cannot keep this to you. This is a good news. This is what I want to be here. Huh? I want to be here in this kind of thing. So if I can't that, I love you so much. Baby. You know so that. What do you have to say? I have a lot to say. A lot to share. So right now, I want to take you inside the room. Take care of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm, but that should be later. Why? Wow. <laughs> you need to eat, you just need to go. Come on, you're not worried. Oh, I don't need anything. It's really good. Come on. Huh? You see? I can't stop thinking about it. Let's go to the Oh! So you love me so much. Why can't you just tell me I love you? Huh? Tell me that I want to be here to you every day. My queen! Let me go to the room. It's not like I don't want. But I have a lot of work on the table. So much to do. Look, look around. I'm busy. I totally understand you. But at the same time, you need to rest. Okay? So I'm of the opinion you should go to somewhere cozy, chill over a glass of whatever you so desire and share thoughts. Okay, just give me a moment. Let me round up something. Alright, I'll be waiting. He is poor, oh, no. he is wretched, understood. Living for me is my choice. Love me like that. He is poor, oh, no. he is wretched, understood. Living for me is my choice. Love me like that. His love is special. Just look at all she got for me. <laughs> she has transformed my life. Please help me and thank Kim. She's been wonderful to me. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kim. It's as if you knew he really needed to change his wardrobe. Mm -hmm. What are friends for? I mean, if not to help each other when we have needs. It's nothing. And I'm glad I could put a smile on your face. Thank you so much. Look at the way you're smiling. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, um, it's really nice being here, but I have to be on my way. Ah. Yes. Okay. I'll call you later. All right. No problem. Bye bye. Bye. Take care of the sound. All right. Bye. Bye. Oh boy. <laughs> look at this. Jesus. Just look. Just look, just look at this. 
Joe. I am not joking. She bought me everything brand new. There is more. There is. Wow. Look at this. I'm going to Man. See, eh? I'm speechless. This thing. Wow. Now, so all these big men that I used to do. Right? Yeah. She's doing all these things so that you can fit into her level. <laughs> you don't look like a village right. boy. Right? Well, yeah. I'm sure this will even make me fit into her level. Yeah. Well. yeah. Baby girl, I can see the smile all over your face. You look so beautiful and happy. <laughs> so, you like this guy? That's an understatement. The fact is, I've fallen head over head for him. I love him. Ah. Yes, he's worthy of it. Though. So, where are you driving at? I should help him. He's brilliant. He speaks well. Um, I think he deserves it better. Yes, so I want to give him some money to start a business. Oh, no. This is charm, right? He's using a charm. I don't ever want it to clear off my eyes because I'm enjoying every bit of it. This is the first time someone is making me to feel really loved, respected. Cherished, adored, and appreciated. Okay, baby girl, listen. I want to make life more comfortable for him. I don't like where he's staying. I don't like where he works. I don't like the kind of business he's doing. So, I'll change his life. Kim, you haven't even recovered from Benjamin. And now, this new guy. He's not Benjamin. He's I just hope you're doing the right thing. And I hope he's worth the stress. Yes, he's worth it. The video times. And then. Okay, I'm happy for you. Please, let's go get some ice cream. I can't wait. Because this sounds so good. <laughs> He is poor, he is wretched, understood, living for me, is my choice, he love me like that. He is poor, he is wretched, understood, living for me, is my choice, he love me like that. Were you able to wait for our son's call? Yes. Uh, when he called, I was able to call through the conversation. <sighs> Joe, Kim wants to shock me again. Another shocker is on the way. <laughs> what is she planning this time around? Does she want to buy you a car? No, I don't think I need that right now. That's a liability. I never chop belly food. Mm -hmm. A word. Uh, uh, you are right. So what is she planning to do this time? Guess. I can't guess. Tell me. She wants to start a business for me. Are you serious? I am very serious. As a matter of fact, you and I are going to the market so that, you know, I can survey and see the kind of business I'll get involved in. Hey, yes. Wow. <laughs> Timothy, listen. Mm -hmm. Right here, right now. Yes, my brother. I do not care whatever anybody have to say mm -hmm. concerning you and Kim. I hear you. Hold that gear with your two hands. I hear you. Timothy, <laughs> hold that gear with your two hands. Look, man, it feels like I'm watching a movie. Hey! I can't stop watching it. My guy, don't make a move. <laughs> you are not in this car. <laughs> you catch yes, this one, no? <laughs> Wait. Kim.
Hello, darling. He is poor, oh, my love. He is wretched. Understood. Living for me is my choice. Love him like that. He is poor, oh, my love. He is wretched. Understood. Live him for me is my choice. Love him like that. Ooh. Why are you staring at me like that, Mom? Is there any problem? King, I am your mother. Remember, we still cook and eat from the same pot as a family. There's something you're not telling me of late, especially this your newfound joy. I don't want to believe it's been like your father has always said. I don't trust him on that. Can you please tell me the secret? Uh, I'll tell you. Can we not talk about it right now? Really? Is that how you want to do this, your new dance? Remember, you will come looking for me when the time comes. And you don't want us to talk about it now. When do you want us to talk about it? I'm sorry, sorry. Can I take my Sorry. Oh. He is poor, oh, my love. He is wretched. Understood. Living for me is my choice. Love me like that. He is poor, oh, my love. He is wretched. Understood. Live. Okay, so we have a big provision store, electronics, clothes, and shoes. So amongst these three, which do you think you would thrive with? Don't look at me. Timothy, the ball is in your court now, so play it. She's asking you. I don't know which one I should pick. I'm confused. Help me out. They're all good businesses, but I just don't know the right one to pick. Electronics have a big provision. And the thing is that the game, are we place this for you to choose because uh, you are the one that is going to fund it. So I suggest you pick according to your pocket. Money is not the problem. Uh -huh. Yes, I just want us to pick a business he will be passionate about. Electronics. So, okay, electronics. Yes, yes. <laughs> because this one has to do with everyday, you know, items that people need. And, and, and it will fit a big shop, you know, yes. electronics, lots of electronics. I totally agree with you. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we'll do electronics. But yeah, first thing first, we need to get someone tomorrow that will help you out with the shop and other things you need. Sure, sure. I will need that help. That's okay. Thank you so much. Don't Thank mention. you so much. Can't believe Don't this. Ah, yeah, you got sent to me. And I want more. It's okay. <laughs> Really a gossip. <laughs> it's okay. So we'll discard this too. No, yes, yes exactly. Which one is exit? Mm. Yes, this is the right choice. And I guess I should be thinking about the brands that I will have to deal with. Of course, you'll get very right. Do you have a suggestion of brands? So, Timothy, because of that girl, Kim, you have not been coming to the workshop for the past three years. What is going on? There's something good has been going on. I've actually been learning electronic business, electronic trade in the market. Electronics? Yes. Are you telling me the truth? That's the business team is helping me to set up. She wants to open a big electronic shop for me. She you? Yes. If that is what is going on, that's a very good news. Of course. But I hope you are learning very well. Ah, but I'm learning very fast. In fact, in fact, by next week, I will be buying my own set of goods. The first set of goods. I'm opening my shop, Papa. Oh, this, yes. is, this is good. Yes, Papa. I would like you to come along with her so that I will thank her myself because she is doing a very great job. Very great job she has done. And I pray that God will continue to reward her. Amen. That is it. Amen. Oh, that is very Amen. good news. Good news. Hey. Papa, I hope the work is going well here. Very, very, very well. <laughs>
Archie. Don't you dare touch her. Don't. Are you mad? She not touch my woman. Yes, don't touch her. Who the hell are you? Francis, what is going on? Mom. And what are you doing today? What is it? Mom. He came here trying to touch sister. What do you mean trying to touch her? Why would you touch her? Leave here before I change it for you. Get up and leave here. What is going on? I, I came with some provision and some stuff for her. We don't and also, need it. I came with We don't need it. We have it, don't worry. Even if you don't have anything, you don't want anything from me. So leave. I'm talking with some raw cash. Leave, go. Cash Just cash. go. Leave. What is leave. going on? We don't want you. Well, this is my wife we're talking about. My woman. I, and you killed her. So get it. I'll never come back here again. Don't come close to my daughter. Never. Because I'll personally deal with you and get out. Get out! Baby, what happened? I am cheap. I am not happy. Honestly speaking, I am heartbroken. I came here to see my wife. Right in there, your wife came in and she chased me out. Why? Because you understand that nobody is happy with what happened. I know nobody is happy. Myself, I am not happy. That is why I'm here to see her. I am here to make amends. I even bought provisions and gave her some money. But she said she doesn't, she doesn't want it. It was a mistake, I know. And I'm sorry. That's why I'm here to, to, to make things right. Ben, I don't understand the type of marriage you people are into. One week, one trouble. The next minute, both of you are on top of the world. Another one, mm, cut and match, fighting every every time. This is not how my wife and, and I, 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 I enjoyed our own marriage. And we are still enjoying it up to this moment. We are enjoying our relationship. Your daughter and I, are, we are enjoying our relationship. It's just a misunderstanding. It can happen to anybody. And I'm sorry about it. Okay, let me make this promise to you here. I won't hit her again. I will never touch her again. Although sometimes she's stubborn, but I can bear it because I love her. Huh? And I, I dropped some money with them, but I still have some money here because I'm a money man. They don't call me Benjamin. So this is a little Benjamin, please. Uh, Chief, just take this, manage this now. Just keep it. Please, if, if they would not, if they couldn't take it inside, there is no point taking it. Just go with the money. Eh? The mood is not right for all this now. Nobody is confiding with you. Their money is still here. Ben, just know that your money is still here. I didn't touch it. Come and take this money. What is going on? For a week now, she has not called as usual and I couldn't get through to her. What is going on? Does it mean something is going on? No. Maybe she was, she was restricted. She would have found a way to send a message across to me. It's easy to say from here. Have you forgotten she told you whom her father is? Maybe he's the one that sees that phone. Or probably restricted her from calling you. Hmm. Okay. She showed me one of her friend's place. You mean Jenny? Yes, Jenny. I'll look for her. I'll look for Jenny. 
That's nice. He's so worried, man. It's so unusual. The whole week. It's no call, no SMS, no WhatsApp. Just have to take it easy. Okay? My dear Dr. King, please forgive me. I know how hard I've been on matters concerning your heart. I know we've wronged you severally. Please find a place in your heart to forgive us. Don't give up to it on us. I assure you. Definitely make it up for me. That's how guy keeps beating and beating and beating. So as I speak to you right now, she's lying down at the hospital because of him. This is bad. So, where's the place? Can't Timothy and I go there? <laughs> Not at all. Though. It seems like you don't know Kim's father. You can't go there now. Not now. So what do we do? For now, I feel we should just wait and pray. Because her phones are still switched off. And you can't just go burgeoning into them like that. Her father will skin you alive. Hmm. Hmm. Now I see why Kim is trying to have a backup life partner with Timothy. Yes. Come on, everyone in her shoes would do the same. You don't know that that guy Ben. I hate him so much. I detest him. Like every sight of him, it irritates me because he feels. He's the only young boy who has money and with money he can get anybody he wants to get and do whatever he wants to do. I hate that about him. If you don't love a woman, why don't you let her go? It's as simple as ABC. Jenny, you just have to calm down, okay? It's not as easy as you say. Um, the thing is that um, I've heard what you said. Once Timothy comes back, I will let him know. Okay? You just have to make it easy. Sure, the deed has been done. What can we do? We just have to be praying for Kim right now. Because that's all she needs. I want you to do something for me. Okay? I need to speak with Jenny. Can you get out of the phone? That is still in my phone. Yes, yes. And when do you want to do that? I do. Okay. Not your phone. Alright, I'll be right back. My love. How are you today? How are you today? I'm fine. I heard someone came to the house. Yes, he did. And he left the same day. He spoke angrily to your father. So what would he allow a small boy manipulate his brain and treating his own daughter like a slave, all in the name of money? I don't understand. I trust my brother. I know what he can do. He recalled Benjamin and finished that one. If not, it will stop him. We have gone to his house to give him blows on his mouth. 
so they'll have man to man fight instead of him hitting the woman. Trust God. Mm -hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have stopped him. Sometimes I ask myself, what is my father's problem? If dad is poor, I would have said maybe because he wants money. But dad is comfortable. Why is he doing this? Why is he trying to jeopardize my safety, my feelings and everything? Eh? You know we have spoken to him about this. But after every long talk, he will still turn around to do that which suits him. It's from your father I realize the fact that rich people are the most greedy ones. Because they will not fail to pick the small money that falls from a poor man's pocket just to add to the fleet of money. So they'll be called pretty rich. I hope he's happy with my current condition. Look at me. If not for the grace of God, it would have been a different story. All together, you know where I would have been dead. All because I'm trying not to disrespect my father. I doubt if I can continue like this. I won't do this again. You know, right now, I don't think your father has come out of the shock. But I, I believe you really had it. It's okay, I'll be fine. Nothing will happen to you, okay? All my body aches everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere, blood clots, arms everywhere. It's okay. It's okay. Ah, it's okay. Big man, just a big man. He will listen. He will listen. Come on, as no say. Jane, you can see me. I'm still here. That's because I love you so much. Hmm. Really? <laughs> and um, all of a sudden, you remember my address because you want came back. But well, all the while you were busy punching her, you didn't know to come to my house, right? Now listen to me, Mr. Benji. I don't want to have this word with you and I will never even mention it to Kim because I know she doesn't even want to hear it. Leave my house. Why are you acting like this? Is there no forgiveness in the mission? Oh, I see. Can't you guys forgive me? I said I am sorry. This man sitting here is sorry and it won't happen again. Alright? <laughs> Please talk to her, let her come back to me. I'm missing my soulmate so much. Mr. Benjamin. Please leave me house. I don't have time. How much is your time? Mm. I will buy your time for the rest of the day. <laughs> Everything is wrong. I don't blame you. That's all you know. Money and then... <clears throat> Please leave my house. Take a walk. Take a walk now. I'm going out. Can't you see? You're delaying me. She's better. Of course she's better. I apologize to her. Try to pump her high a bit. Stop this your high-handedness. It's always good to listen to your parents. Come in. Who is there? Come inside. Come in, sir. 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 Come in, Come in, sir. 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 Come in, Timothy and this is Joe. They are my friends. Oh, Hello. How are you? And I think at this point we'll be there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, bye, Excuse you. <laughs> I'll see you later. Right. Jenny, how is the people? <laughs> this huge man. <laughs> Sorry. It's alright. How are you? I'm getting better. To the glory of God, the doctor said I'll be out of here. 
in the next few days. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm super excited to see you. I hope you're getting better. Yes, I am. I can't wait to live here. Hospital is one place I don't wish even my own. I'm sorry for everything. Joe, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's all my fault. No, I yes. no. I caused it all. I'm glad everything happened this way. Stop it. Stop saying that. Remember what the doctor said. He said that this was a narrow escape. So we should thank God that you are alive. Yeah. I'm grateful to God and I've promised myself that this will never happen again. I will never go back to Benjamin again. Never in my life. It's alright. Just get there first. With you guys, I'm alive. With you guys, I'm good. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. You're welcome. Thank God you're alive. Thank God you survived it. Thank you. Dad, I beg you in the name of God. And everything, I mean everything about Benjamin before I leave this hospital. Please. Please, promise me you will do that. Um, um, there is this adage I had from my father that if you are in a good mood with someone, you must reserve the mood for quarreling. Or if you are quarreling with someone, you must reserve the one to make peace. Chief, I'm not talking, man. Allow me to finish what I want to say. Um, the, the issue is that we are not going to throw them away to the capital. Just like that. But not what? Not what? If I am a baggy. Dad, with all due respect, I will make this clear and known to you. I will never, never in my life go back to Benjamin again. I won't let you use me as a sacrificial lamb. If you don't care about my safety, if you don't care about my welfare, I love myself so much to care about me. That in case you forgot to so soon what the doctor said, go and meet him again. Tell him to explain clearly to you once more. Do you know the, do you know the damage, the blood loss everywhere my body aches? And you're telling me about adage that has nothing to do with my safety that I would never, there is nothing on earth that will make me go back to Benjamin else you kill me Even my dead body will not go back there My spirit will refuse to go back there No one with one leg dies with that particular leg that is still standing That is what I'm driving at Just try to understand me There's nothing to understand Jeez. Nothing Nothing for God's sake, I don't want you to argue with your daughter. I don't want you to disagree with her. Rather, agree with her. Make her to heal, not to scratch the wound afresh all over. What is wrong with you? Father, we are here to stop some noise. Mrs. Cesar, it is not so long I already told you. It's not your son. Why don't you allow me to discuss with him when I play with you? I heard it clearly. And even while I am still sleeping, I know my son's voice. Yes. The way you're saying this to me, Mrs. Sazako, it is beginning to sound embarrassing. People share the same voice, the same face, even the same body stature here and there. If your son calls, there is no way I will hesitate to tell you by your husband. I cannot give you phone to start speaking with someone else. Father, do you know how far I can go through this? I can bet my life that the voice is my son's voice. I heard it clear. I now be begin to believe what my husband told me the other time. That you've been communicating with my son. 
Because there is nothing that my son does without telling you. Yes, that is for sure. Um, Mrs. Sazako, I hope you saw some parishioners waiting to see me. I think it's a high time I met you them because you're doing to waste my time. I'm asking how to. Uh, some are regards to the big man. He will listen. He will listen. Come on. As no say. Oh. If you come man, you have no say. Big man talks to the big man. Can you see now the atmosphere has changed? crystal to you that there is a big difference between a normal human being. Then things have changed. You can be coming around as before. Chief, <laughs> what do you mean things has changed? Have you forgotten who you're talking to? Benjamin. Benjamin the money-making machine. Benjamin, one of Italy. I am done with Malaysia. You are you talking to me like that? You need not to remind me. You know who you are, Ben. But what I'm telling you is that after that incident, things are no longer the way you should. I can rechange things, Chief. I have too much money. Oh, come on, check me out. Work in a bear bear. Eh? Work in a bear bear. I have made money. Excess money. You don't need to tell me all these things. Money rules the world. You cannot eat without money. You cannot live without money. You can't even breathe without money. As a matter of fact, your family right now is my responsibility. Your daughter is my wife to be. Your daughter is my responsibility. You know I love her so much. <laughs> Don't worry about that, Kolos man. Listen, Chief, I have good news for you. <laughs> yeah, All right. Because I cannot come here empty handed. I know what to do. Benjamin, one of you, is not a guy named. All right. So I have this huge offer for you two contracts just for you. I got it yesterday, but now I want to channel it to you. So you will help me talk to your daughter, my love. To come back to me. Alright? Nobody's perfect. I am ready to change things. I'm ready to make amends. Two contracts, solid ones, worth of millions. <laughs> I, I think I am I'm in for this year. <laughs> Offer. 
I can fall for the temptation of girl, but you know I am not the one that will live with you. And that's what my family has been accusing me of. Forget about your family. Forget about everything. You are the man. Huh? You are the man of this house. You think this white monster is for fancy? Ah, nah, there is a reason God gave you all this. <laughs> Come on. Take responsibility, my dear. Huh? Listen, I will give you more money. Convince her. Talk to her. Huh? To come back to you. I can even give you money that will elongate your life. You will live more than 150 years. I know what I'm talking about. I just need your daughter by my side. I need her to be rubbing and warming my bed. All right? Do something. Do you know what happened? Let's find somewhere a cool and serene environment so that we'll talk. Because things are no longer the way it used to be. Be a wise man. If my son <laughs> comes around now, that my son somewhere. I know where you're driving at. All right. Place I will make, will make it. I will make it three contrast for it. Right. Yes, I will give you three. All right, four. It's okay, Chief. Five contrast for you. Con open that gate. I said, open that gate. I'll add to the Five controls for the Enter the more Listen, I will take care of you. Right. Everything is not about money and wealth, but determination in one's life matters. In this life, you must give to receive. If you give love, you must receive love. If you give joy, you will feel joy. Big man turns to big man. On the Bazia, on the Bazia. Big man turns to big man. He will listen, he will listen. One man has no say. Man talks to big man on the bus here, on the bus here. It won't be still. Yes. Yes, come in. Hello. What's Who happening? do we have here? Welcome, darling. I'm fine. What are you Sit down. To? <laughs> well, business as usual. You can Ooh. say that again. <laughs> so, um, where is your friend? Not yet back, but we'll be back soon. Okay. Yes. Um, he's such a nice person. I can't <sighs> believe such people still exist. I mean, he has kept you in his house for months without taking a dime from you. That's worthy of appreciation and applauds. Well, it's a brother from another mother. Look, I want to thank God for bringing a few good women like you to transform my life. Thank you very much, Kim. Mm, it's okay. Thank you. It's okay, you're worthy of it all. You deserve it. And more. I love you, Kim. I love you right back. Oh, my phone. I'm sorry. It's okay. Hi, Jenny. Jenny, you are the only one that can stop me from entering my heaven. So how may I help you? It's okay, it's okay. 
It's okay, I'll talk to him. Bye. Allow me to have peace. I'm so sorry about it's that. It's okay, I understand. Mm. I understand. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, how is business and everything? Uh, fine. I mean, everything has just been going so well. I can't complain. I'm glad. <laughs> what? Ah, Kim, you've been smiling and you're so happy. Mm, what do you want me to do? It's not my fault. Everything played out for itself. <laughs> Benjamin beat me up, kept me in the hospital for weeks to prepare my emotions for the new era of my life. Mm. I'm ready to live it to the fullest. You can say that again, my friend. <laughs> and all I can say is congratulations. Thank you. It's not easy. Thank you. <laughs> and Thank to keep you. this phone flying, Wilson called me, my fiance. Mm -mm -mm. Love is in the <laughs> air. <laughs> he said he'll be coming back by December to pay my bride price. Yes. Well, 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 I'm ready for the chief bridesmaid's duty. Of course. Congratulations. Of course. <laughs> Congratulations, darling. Thank you so oh, much. This is, this is really good news. You're not supposed yeah. to even say it quietly. You're supposed to be shouting. Right? Yeah. So we should go and pop, right? <laughs> I can't wait. I'm so happy for us. There's like, nothing see. like, you know, having your own man. Someone that yes, really Someone that treasures you. you. Yeah. Someone that treats you right. That's the best thing that can happen to anyone. I'm happy for us. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm driving, you know? Kim, how can you say that? No. Why won't I say that? I'm a full grown woman. I deserve happiness. It's the man I love. It's the man I want to be with. As a matter of fact, I'm telling you this so you can find a better way to communicate it to Dad. Please. Wow. Only God will start the same to you. I don't know. Do I really care? I don't really care. I've moved on. I've long moved on. I will never go back to bed. Just not you. Ah, Kim, I hope you know him very well. You know your father. He will ask you all manner of questions. Just hope you know him well. Don't go and take him, start to to your father. Oh, I understand. I know you well enough to love him. Yes. I would like to bring him Yes. I'm tired of hiding him. The truth is, I can hide him forever. You want me to meet the absolute love of my life? Uh, I just want you to be careful. Just be careful. I want you to be in control of your destiny. And I want you to ship with me you want. I'll try my best to see what I can do for you. But in the meantime, I want you to be careful. Thank you so much. I love you. Now, this I love you more. Mommy, watch it. It's fun. Baby girl, watch it. Watch it. It's wretched. I'm just a little bit for me. It's my choice. I love you like that. It is fun. I love you. It is wretched. I'm just a little bit for me. It's my choice. I love you like that. Love is special. He knows he. And, and what's the meaning of this? What are you doing here, Mr. Benjamin? You're asking me what I'm doing here. Excuse me, Mr. Don't you get it? I said, what are you doing here? Do you know you're a wicked person? Hello? You act nice. You look nice. Meanwhile, your heart is full of evil. So because my wife and I are having issues, instead of you to make sure that we are back happily, the only thing you are good at is to put fire, to make her run away from me. And then you claim a good girl in my face. Mm. You're a beast. Are you dumb? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Mr. Benjamin? I think you should go home 
and ask yourself some questions because you are your own biggest problem and the earlier you realize that, the better for you. Did you hear me? I said leave my house now. Have you ever wondered why you can't see the man? Because you lack attitude. Hey, what in God's name are you doing here? Take your car out of my room. I don't want to get it out of you. Babe, what is going on? Why are you treating me like this? Who is your baby? Don't come one inch close to me. You won't like me. Take your car out of my way. I need to leave here right now. Please, simple. Why are you acting like this? Huh? Why are you acting like this? I'm sorry. Alright? You're my new one. I want us back. She's deceiving you. This your friend here is deceiving you. Obviously. You are the one who is deceiving yourself. I will never come back to you. I'm done. Don't make me place the call. Don't make me call the police and tell them you, you, you are stopping me from my movement. You know what that means? You can't do that. Alright? I am sorry. I am sorry. Let's go back in. Let's move on. Alright? I'm sorry. Listen, I'm here to make amends. I will never do anything to help you. I promise you. Are you serious? Like you're serious? Yes, sir. I told him father, I told him that I don't you. In case he didn't tell you, let me say it to your face. I am done. Then I deserve better. And I have said better. <laughs> Excuse me. Leave me my house. Are you, are you, you won't like what I'll do to your car. Mr. Benjamin Lee, can you leave my gate? I will call the cops to come and beat you. Get out. Hey, don't, don't even speak on the Now take right. your guilty out of my house or I call the cops. You can never get married. Please, go and... You can never get married. Go and... Girlfriend, so why did you ask me to stop the car? King, I don't know. I, I just feel like we're too harsh on you. In the way we spoke to him and blast him and everything. Are you serious? No, Jenny, are you are you truly listening to yourself? Did you hear you speak? Don't tell me you're beginning to, to have sympathy for Ben. No, really, just that. Just that what? You're really beginning to make me angry. In fact, I'm so livid right now. You know the story. You know everything. You know how this guy restricted me from my normal life, treated me like a piece of trash, used me as a punching bag. What don't you know? Jenny, tell me, what don't you know? All I'm just saying is that, not like I support him, never, but I was just feeling like it was just too much. The way we just feel like... He deserves it and more. Here yeah, you are telling me you're feeling for him. You're the, I was even applauding you on my mind. You acted so well. I love the way you spoke to him. And here you are regretting it. Right? Okay, I get it. Now what you said earlier is beginning to make sense to me. He said, are you sure you can do this? I, yes, I can do this. I have made up my mind. I know Timothy is not rich, but I've tested a rich guy. And it almost cost me my life. I won't take that risk again. I deserve love. I deserve respect. I deserve pampering. And all of that, Timothy is given. Okay? So if my father has paid you money, to first act like you're with me, then start talking me into going back to them. Make me worst way I can see it. And if you dare say anything contrary to my happiness, you will leave me with no option than to walk you out of this car and end our relationship. Because if you care for me as your girlfriend, you will care about my safety. Calm down. There is no way I will ever support him over you. Boy. Feeling for him for what? It's all right. Did you feel for me? I was in the hospital for weeks. Did you really feel for me? I, I doubt. I'm just sorry. I've never felt for you before. It's all right. Get out of this place. So, babes, I would want you to come to my house this weekend. Isn't that rather too early? Mm. We've known for some time now. I want to introduce you to my family. I need them to share their opinion about you. 
the earlier they start accepting you, the better for all of us. <laughs> you have everything plotted and planned. Well, uh, let's see how it goes. This weekend. Okay. All right. Okay. You lead, I'll follow. Our list lead us right. Even if your heart is made of stone, Kim, you should have listened to the young man and see if he has genuinely repented. Dad. Not when I've moved on. What do you mean when you have moved on? I asked you a question. Chief, what she was trying to say is that she doesn't want to have anything to do with any man or any woman. She wants to be on her own till further notice. Really? She doesn't want to get married. Or are you waiting for me to marry you? That, that's not it. Mom, please let me talk. It's high time I spoke, Mom. That the truth is, I've started seeing someone else. I'm already in a relationship. He loves me, respects me, and I love him too. See what you have cost. I was trying to give you a sign. Look at you, even touch you, so that you will listen. But your mouth will not stop running like that. You don't know what he's up to. You know your father. Oh, I'm not scared. Yes, you guys wouldn't rather have me die inside fire with the fear of what will happen when I come out. Let me come out of the fire and face whatever it is that I see. It is better for me. It's all good, but you don't know how this will end. I know it will end well, and I don't like it when you sound this way, Mom. I'm not a child. Look at me. I'm not getting any younger. You think I don't know my left from my right? I'm no longer a child. Please, Mom, give me some credit. It's your father. I'm I not the problem. It's your father. Then talk to him. I can't continue with Ben. I deserve better. And I've seen better. Best. There you go again, Papa. When you start speaking in proverbs like this, it means that I'm getting more than I bargained for. Then you go ahead with the book you are Really, Papa? Going to Kim's place is like climbing a mountain. When you climb the mountain and stand on top of the mountain, no matter what you are going to do, you will be a better strong to see the other side of the mountain. Remember, you have gone down out of the building and do for you what no lady can do for you. But she keeps talking about her father as a stumbling block. If you know the truth, if the mountain is smooth, we wouldn't climb it. Francis, my friend is here. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, Where is that? This is my friend, my beloved mother. Hello, Ma. You're welcome. Thank you, Ma. Hello. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. Where is Dad? Oh, he stepped out. He had a phone call. Had to leave. Uh, please sit. Thank you. Your mother is beautiful. I know. <laughs> Outside. 
The backs I see you. Nobody's So well. You look so cute. You have eyes for what I know, right? <laughs> now I see, sister. Mm -hmm. Now I see why it was so easy for you to switch easily. Francis, I don't know what you're talking about. Lily, what are you doing here? Would you just keep him coming? This is what I'm about to back. Go and stay with him. So cute! <laughs> just go and keep him coming. Okay, I'm That was what attracted you to him. He's cuteness. Uh, not just about his cuteness. I love his personality. I love everything about him. He's a normal man. He talks to me so much. I respect you. I feel like I get so fast. Of course. All I need is what I grab you. Aww. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's rare. <laughs> Every good thing is rare. Let's not keep him waiting. Mm -hmm. Get him something to eat and drink. Let's get dry here. How do I look? You need to have seen the excitement on my mom's and my sister's faces. They were so excited. My sister said, Oh, sis, you've got eyes for a beautiful day. <laughs> oh, that's what my mom said. <laughs> now I know why you love him so much. He was cute. <laughs> <laughs> accepted him with open arms. Are you serious? So tell me, hope your father also loved him. Unfortunately, weren't able to meet my dad. He wasn't home. Then why are we celebrating you? Eh? Until your father accepts, there is no need for the celebration. You're right. You're right. But Jenny, what if... Okay, what do you think I should do if my father refuses to accept him? I don't know. That's the, that's the point here. How do you brought the money to this house? Yes, Dad. He's my friend. So you've been seeing this man while you are still with him? No, Dad. How come you trusted a man you just met? Trusted him to the extent that you love him, you believe you can live the rest of your life with him. Dad, the truth is, I didn't just meet him. I know him even before I started dating Ben. But we're just friends, we're not dating. After Ben put me in the hospital way, we met again and we started. Which means you've been using him as a cover up, a stooge, because you're angry with Ben. No, that's not the truth. I love him. I'll never go back to Benjamin. I would rather die than go back to him. Maybe you take my dead body to him, but for me, it's over. You don't love him? Does he love you? Yes, Dad. He loves me more. In that case, tell him I want to see him this weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank this madness. What in God's name are you doing here? So it's true. Hmm? Because of this low life, this riffraff, you left light to join darkness. Really? 
I know you're not expecting me to answer such silly, useless question. Oh, look, because I'm back from here, are you, are you mad? Do you know who I am? Benjamin, one of Europe is talking. You want to inter you, do you want to come close to me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now you mad dog. It's high time you chained yourself. What is wrong with you? I am done and done forever. You will never ever have me again. Really? Yes. And let me make a point clear to you. I was never with him when I was dating you. You don't know the value of what you have. Now you have lost me. Cry on baby boy. Keep crying. You think it's all about money? Yeah, you can go out there and get yourself some girls that are so, so carried away with money. Yeah, People who don't care about their peace of mind. I, I don't fall in that category. If you want to have a queen like me, you must treat me right. And let me make it clear to you, I am done. Don't ever try this rubbish again. I am going there to start my car. If you don't take this shit out of here, I'll break your windscreen and wait for your lawyer. I am disappointed in you. Who gives a So, who? so, so, you were actually seeing him while you're with me? Really? You're nothing but a prostitute. Listen to me. I own you. Hey, please take off your filthy smelly hands off me. You just talked about light and darkness. If you need to know, need I remind you, you are the darkness here. And he is the light. Who is the light? I am done with you. Let's go. Rubbish. We're late. I think don't I'm worry, scared of we can take the other way. There's a way around. No, 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 no. He wants to leave. No, no, we don't have to give him that energy, okay? It's a waste of time. Bro, I bet you're you so scared of him. Right you don't know how to treat a woman, right? Now you've lost me. You want to cry foul. My dear. <laughs> <laughs> This stupid guy told me, he said, I am disappointed at you. You left light for darkness. No. I looked into his eyes. I made him to realize that he was actually the darkness I was stuck with for years. That's good. You did well. But, Kim, can't you see? Your father is still blowing whistle for that vengeance. Mm -hmm. He certainly does not know what my father is up to. But well, he said I can bring Timothy to our house by weekend. For real? Yes. I don't trust your father, so you have to tell Timothy to get ready. And you too, you have to get ready. Because your father can be up to anything. I just pray he's not up to any mischief. Because if that happens, Timothy and I will disappear from this place. Nobody will see us again. Yes, you're my serious maybe after 10 years when we must have done having kids. I won't let anyone build my happiness. Okay. Wait, okay. Running away is not the solution. And before you do anything, I want you to do something. Really deep. So you don't make mistakes. I've given it a deep thought down, my friend. And I realized that then. Is a cost to my life. Timothy is a blessing. And I wouldn't do him for anything. Yes, not even my father would let me change my life. I just don't understand how he chased me all the way to my shop. After blocking Kim and I from going out. I mean, how does it make sense? When a woman leaves a guy, you should go back to the drawing board and find out what the problem was and fix it rather than disturbing the man that she she chose over him it doesn't make any sense come on timothy why are you sounding as if we didn't talk about this why are you sounding as if you didn't you're not aware of all these things that is happening you know about it see let me tell you it's part of those things so embrace it as a matter of fact these are the things that cement love if you must know. No. Not when he sees me as a stumbling block. That's his headache. This situation is making me restless. Listen, Timothy. With the things you told me, King said to him, you have nothing to worry about. Oh, yes. What you should be thinking now is King's father. That man is too quiet for my liking. That is the thing you should focus all your energy on. Try to find a way to win his heart. Let me tell you, 
once she win that man's heart, to her with the king's ex-boyfriend. You understand? So channel your energy to winning his heart, not this one you're here worrying yourself over Benjamin or whatever you called him. Ben. Yes. I've been preparing my mind to meet Kim's father. See that he likes me or not. Worst case scenario, he will tell me to stop seeing his daughter. Are you ready? Of course not. I'll persist. I'll persist until he accepts me. That's what I want to hear. You don't worry yourself, okay? The most important thing is that the girl likes you. It's not as if you are the one begging her to accept you. So you have nothing to worry about. Focus on the papa. At the the the, the, main, the, the problem day. He is poor. He is wretched. Understood. Living for me is my choice. Love him like that. He is poor. He is wretched. Understood. Living for me is my choice. Dad. This is my friend I told you about. His name is Timothy. Timothy yes. meets my beloved girl. Oh, my son, please make yourself comfortable. You will not so fast, no man. Keep standing. Mm -hmm. All right. What's your name? Okay. Timothy Okorafo. Yes, I heard you. Your true resume. Okay. Um. I am from a village called Umaizechua in Umujoka, Anambra State. Um, my father is Joseph Ndulue Okorafo. Are you sure? Will you address me properly before I, 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 I throw you out? So, my son, address him by chief. Address him with chief. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, chief. Sorry about that. Um, Chief, my father is a, a respectable man in our village, a noble man, the former vice chairman of the Carpenters Association. In fact, he's a great carpenter, one of the best in the area. Yes. What? Carpenter? Yes, sir. Son of a carpenter in my house. You see me, right? See how low Myself, bringing some of the common cabin back. So you say, chairman of cabin. You see what we're talking about? Oh, yes. Bringing the, the, the son of a cabin back. Cabin, ordinary cabin back. You survive. Dad. So, survive what? Just want to embarrass ourselves here. We have a guest. Let me come down. Chief, please calm down. Dad, I don't understand what you're doing. This is my happiness we're talking about now. Do not ruin it, Dad. Please. It's, it's all right. It's all right. I even forgot that Bible is our standard of life. The way we live is regulated and regimented in the Bible. And I hope you have your phones because the Bible act on your phone. So take your phone and join me. Chief, I don't know what you're about. Whatever you are, that is what do you want. Tell it's what do you want. That's why you want. We want to go to the Bible. We'll go to the Bible. The Bible is our standard of life. Uh, go to Genesis, the book of Genesis. Uh, Genesis chapter 29, verse 18 to 20. Are you there with me? Yes, Dad. Jacob was in love with Rachel. So he said, I will work seven years for you if you will let me marry Rachel. 
Then 19 says, Laban answered, I would rather give her to you than to anyone else. Stay here with me. Then let's go to 20. Eh? Eh? 20. Jacob walked seven years so that he could have Rachel. And the time seemed like only a few days to him because he loved her. Underline word. Jacob walked seven years. And I'm good. So, my dear son, if you are ready for my friend, let me borrow a leaf from my friend in London for my word of education. So, if you are ready to serve me, work for me a year, then my daughter is all yours. Come on, Chief. This is unfair. Dad, what are you doing? Very, very unfair. This is not Bible days. This is unfair. The word itself is unfair. Well, it's unfair. Dad, this is crazy. Truly, this is absolute crazy. Chief, this is impossible. No man will be able to do this. This is very, very impossible. Sweetie, I'm trying to protect you. If he genuinely you told me he loved you, if you genuinely believe that he loves you, let him go ahead and do it. Oh yes, sub me for one year, then have you whole and entire. Young man, are you ready? That's Your time starts now. That, that's ridiculous. This is serious. That's so absurd. It's all head of that. One. Two. Two, 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 two. Three. I'll do it. Do what? <laughs> I'll do it. Young man, listen. Yes. It's not as easy as you think. It comes with a price. You work for me for one year. And the Lord says you will not be seen anywhere around her. No solution, no hanging around. I have CCTV camera all over the place. If I does see you, I throw you out. Mom, don't you see the old thing is taking my sister away from home? I mean, we will barely sit and talk like before. So? <laughs> Are you a baby? Can't you brace up? What's your palava? No, oh, Mom. She promised to lecture me on something. But right now, I have to hold on to further notice. Come on. You know your sister. She can easily come back now. Say, Let's go. You have to get yourself prepared. Besides, your sister is going to need a lot of money. So sympathize with her this period. Mom, that is what I don't like. Is that same person going through a lot with her? I mean, Benjamin. I, I wish she can just get rid of him. I'd be so happy. Okay. Your sister is a factor. She put in this one as well. Like all of this. Trust me, everything will be fine. Hopefully, more hopefully, the new things will be fine. Just believe. Love is special. He knows my heart. Yeah. He gives me joy. He gives me happiness. He's my lover. You really have to stop. You really have to stop right now. Why would you be doing this? Why don't you just do follow? Why don't you agree to this? For you. I'm doing this for you. I'm ready to do anything to be with you. Anything. Okay? Look, I don't care. I can even do more than this. Just to prove that I want to be with you forever. I love you so much. And nothing else matters. 
Baby, no, don't cry. Don't start crying, please, please. Keep my faith in the name of God. Don't cry. If your father comes out here now, I'll be in trouble. Please, don't start crying, please. Please, don't cry. Sister, I think he knows what he's doing. You should let him be okay. Shut up you? your mouth and get out of here. Now! Who asked for your opinion? Get out! Sazio. Let me help you. No, 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 no. If your father comes out of here, sees you like this, I'm fired. I would rather have him beaten than him. I need you to be safe. You love me. Then you have to trust me. I know what I'm doing. The end justifies the means. Please. someone else's son all in the name you want to test his will who does that point of correction i did not force him to be here he came here on his own volition my husband he had a business running before now all these things you're doing will contradict the format it will change everything you're trying to do maybe you didn't get me right I said the young man made his choice. Yes. He made his choice. I said the young man made his choice. Dad, that's a big lie. You didn't give him options. Let's assume an umbrella walks in here and asks for your BVM. With gun pointed on your head, what will you do? Won't you surrender? What kind of useless instance is this? Kimberly, I have told you to come down, yet you will not let no, me to let me be. Were you not there when dad was acting in a very awful manner? Were you not there? What did you do? Kimberly, can you come down? Timothy! Timothy! Get me a glass of water, please. A glass of water? Get me a glass of water. I said get me a glass of water. Are you dead? Okay, okay. dead. okay sir. Ask us to go get a good glass of water. I am here. Kimberly is here. Allow this boy to be. Allow him to be. Let him do what he is trying to do. The water is ready. Who asked you to serve me water in another person's glass? This is not my glass. Musa? Oh my God. Sir, sir, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you had a special glass. I'm sorry, sir, please. Are you that stupid? Will you get out of here before I break your head with this glass? Sir, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Matthew, I don't know you to be like this. What has come over you? That when have you become so inhumane? You don't have any reason to embarrass him like that. You just humiliated a young man, Dad. That's wrong. I don't know you to be like this. What has come over you? If you know what is good for you, keep out of this. Allow this young man to concentrate and do the job he is assigned to do. Water? Water? I could quickly go bring for you. Is it you're calling a full-fledged young man to go bring for you? Yet you, you splash him with the water. Let's go. When I fuck you, there is a like that for Chidi Bezimo Mad. You're so wicked.
baby girl. What is wrong with you? Since you got here, you've been like this. What's happening? Talk to me. Jenny, I don't understand why my father would have a part of a beast. What has he done this time and why are you condemning him so bad? The question should be what has he not done? My father is frustrating my love life. As I speak to you, the absolute love of my life is currently serving in my house as a son. You mean Timothy? How? What happened? Okay, one time like that, my father told us a story about how his friend's daughter planned with his friend to turn the super into a house of God. And that's actually to chase him away. And? <laughs> I don't get this. And the day I introduced Timothy to him, he went on to read the Bible verse, I think Genesis 29 or thereabout, where Jacob came to marry Rachel and Rachel's father asked Jacob to serve him for seven years. I know that story, so what does the story have to do with all this? That's exactly what my father is implying. He said that if Tim really wants to marry me, he'll be sure he's in love with me and can do anything for me. And he has to work as a household in our house for one year. Wait, you, you mean? Timothy left the shop he opened for me to come work in the house. What, what, what's, what's going on? What's wrong with your father? Why is he treating him like that? My father wants him to do all manner of house chores just to humiliate him. Who kind of father does this to his job? Oh, that's not true. Oh, my God. It's okay. Please, just put yourself together. You know, when something good is coming, there's a lot of temptations, and this is one of them. And my father is my temptation. Doesn't make sense. But what can you do? I think we should just um, look for a solution to this. Oh, there is no solution. Team is currently serving. He said he would do it. I don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll look for something to do. Should I get you? Juice, maybe to calm you down. Mm, that's just frustrating. Frances, how are you? I'm fine. Hmm. Let me ask, what kind of a man are you? A, a simple man. A simple man who chose to see the world from a different point of view. Wow. And you think my sister, who you are loving, has to have said this way you choose to express your love to her, right? Frances, my dear, I don't know what you know about love. But love is a beautiful thing. Love is a wonderful thing. And love is also a crazy thing. Mm -hmm. We find love in unusual places. And in unusual circumstances, the most important thing is what do you want from love? I don't want to ask. What do you want? Mm -hmm. What do you really want? Look, Francis, I just, I just want a woman I can raise children with peacefully. Mm -hmm. I want a woman that will look into my eyes. I understand my love language. 
a woman that would give me peace of mind. And in return, I will love her, I will cherish her, and I will adore her for the rest of our lives. I just want a woman who would grow old with me, peacefully. Yes. That's okay, then. I, I wish you good luck, because you need it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Bye. you very much. Enjoy your watching, okay? Alright. I still don't get lost your face. What I'm trying to say is that my first name took your son to see the father. I don't understand it. But what I don't understand is how my son will go and make such a move without informing me. Getting a thought to be grateful agreement. As if he has no family member. Everybody is a little family. What about his little family? Who is handling it? As you see, the shop is totally lost. He abandoned it. And he's becoming low. Everybody has been talking to Timothy, but he doesn't want to lose it. Now the shop is suffering. How can King's father push my own soul to the wall? Eh? If you don't want someone, you better tell the person to leave. No, 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 sir. See, father asked Timothy to leave. But Timothy insisted and said he will remain here. Sir, you need to call him here to see this in the store. Because we are all. Timothy is not listening to anyone. Maybe he could listen to you. That is why I'm here. What are you doing here? I should be asking you what you're doing here. Leaving your business behind. I'm talking to you. Uh, Papa, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Jenny, what did you tell my father? You should be talking. Will you follow me? Let me get out of here. What's going on here? You don't leave this and follow me. Let me get out of here. I'm not here to pay any stupid visit. I came here to take my son home. I don't know what you did to a full grown man living his business and life to come and serve you. Is that not wickedness? It is not my business. When the stupid lies you have told me, that one thing is certain. I will not have you come to my house to abuse me upon the fence I know nothing about. Boy, so your father is here to take you home. This woman is waiting. Join me. Get out of my house. I'm sorry about all this. I can explain. I, I, I promise I'll make it up to you. Please. That's your own property. Let's get out of my house. What is wrong with you, Timothy? No, tell me. What has come over you this time around? Papa, please, can you. Can I see you for a minute? Just one minute. Can we. Please, Papa. Where is this hopeless Njoku behaved man? Idiot! Haboki, I call you Njoku because people that answer Njoku behave to them.
Oh, you son of man, you get it. You almost start to get it. You son of foolishness. If you are last, you have to do it. You have to do it. You have to do it. What is going on? What has he done this time around? For the sake of love, your friend has already forsaken his newly opened business to go and serve Kim's father at Kim's house to get Kim in return. Jenny, to be honest, you are confusing me. Wait, I thought you went there with Kim. <laughs> he went there with Kim, but now he's serving there. He's going to serve there for one year. One whole year. This is strange. I thought he went there with Kim. <laughs> you know what, Joe? Just go in there, dress up. Let's go there so you see things for yourself. Um, the thing is that it's already late. We definitely will not meet up. But Jane, please explain to me what is going on. Because I tried calling his number, but it's not going through. Oh, you're even calling him. <laughs> Your friend has gone mad. You know what? He's determined. He switched off his phone. He doesn't want anybody to call him or disturb him because he has already made up his mind on what he wants to do. So there's no need you say you want to just go in there, dress up. Let me take you there. That's all. Hmm. Yes. Small over. One I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing, man. Come, ask me a question. If you know people cost of money, what I want to buy me for inside for this one part, what they don't go with man? It's your choice. Mine is because of my woman, my everything. Smaller, smaller, man. Now, but you see that size when they carry that thing, they go for like this, man. But that that size, the the difficult work, what's in work, what you come prepose, you come do all like this, you come go inside. You come, you come run, you go inside the money. The task is not an easy one. Not everybody will appreciate it. But the end will justify the means. Oh! Wow! Small of wow! But let's tell me I get it done for you, man. Every time. You see you go like this, Wale, you are defeating me. Wale, how can you try, man? You try, what can they do, Baba? Hey. Nothing good comes easy. Oh, Baba. I'll call the blessing. This one is surely not. That easy one. I'll call the blessing. I'll be fine. What way are they for heaven, Wale? Tell them that they bless me, man. Amen. What I will, I will increase my power, man. Amen. What, what I will give you, that's the way you are found and come for this place. Amen. So say, man. Oh, you can't go. You are starting to laugh. You want me to get in trouble in my walking You want me to talk to you. Come down, come down. You don't understand me. So, even though that I know you too well, 
see what you know that you are my guy. No, 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 don't tell me to come down. If what you, I know you too well, I would have said they have given you the job. No, this is not you now. You know, they have given you the job and you pray for it. What is going on? You know, what has come over you? Listen, Joe. I am doing what I'm supposed to do. What I have to do to make sure King Bali is mine. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm in love. Timothy, listen. Timothy, you are my guy. Timothy, you are my G. I know. My modest man. I know. My monkey. Listen, you can confide in me. Eh? You can confide in me. Tell me what is going on. Eh? What is going on? Nothing now? is going on. A man has to do what a man has to do to survive. I am fighting for love. I am doing everything possible to make sure I win the love of my heart. That is what I'm doing. This is serious. Timothy. This is serious. Okay, hold on. Let me ask you. What do you expect King family to think of you? After serving them, and now turn around to ask for their daughter hand in marriage. Eh? What do you expect them to think of you? What do I expect them? What do you expect them to think of me? Huh? Look, Joe, no matter how I explain this situation, you will not understand. But I promise you, whatever I'm doing right now, you will understand it someday. No, Timothy. No, Timothy. Make me to understand now. As a matter of fact, here and now. I'm Timothy, love. make me to understand that you left your shop Listen. and came to this place to serve as a slave. What is that supposed to mean? No. I'm in love. You've never been in love. So you can't understand that love makes you do. Mologa. How far now? What about they call you? Right now. Yes, follow me. Okay, I will I will be with you shortly. I'm behind you, I'm coming. Look, you don't have to be worried about me. I'm a full grown man and I'm on my journey to finding true love. Timothy! Joe! Hey! This is serious. No, Eligo, my God. You can't tell me otherwise. Eligo, my God. What is this? Why did you drag me here? You would jeopardize this whole thing. There are cameras everywhere. Are you relaxed? You have to. I know where every camera starts and ends in this house. I got you. Okay, so what do you want to say? And you better be quick because I have work to do. <laughs> Jack Robinson, you already have the kids. They wouldn't have an option. But to support our marriage. Yes. Yeah. It sounds great. It sounds great, right? Sounds great. It's a great plan. But I can't go down like that. No. I can't do that. Somebody, how would you rather go down? By humiliating yourself, being my father's house boy? Do you know how do you know the emotional trauma this thing is giving me? The shame! The humiliation! Nothing good comes easy. And there's nothing difficult with what I've just told you. I'm finding a way out of this life and you're not doing anything to help it. Okay. My dear, I cannot suffer for nothing. You need to understand You are the it. one that needs to understand me. But it's obvious you refuse to do that. Yes, my heart, yeah. He gives me joy. He gives me happiness. He's my lover. He's my lover. Rap for me, oh. Hey, Danny. As we speak, Timothy is not listening to anyone. He said he was a chicken's How can that stupidity be good? What do you want me to say? 
So Timothy, it's a goal he must definitely achieve. My weakness is that his father has only given up My friend King is planning to run in Timothy. Uh, Probably to Canada, the uh, West, or somewhere. Oh, uh, that would be possible. Jenny, that would be possible. To me, that I know, to let you know, to you know, to search. Not that he's acting like someone who is on that spell. Spell? Why would you say that? Why who? How would I know? The thing is that I will keep pressing his father to know what he can do to get him out of that place. Hmm. I don't think anyone can get him out of that place. Yes. Because he has already made up his heart and he's determined. We're just praying that keeping our fingers crossed that probably he wakes up next day and say, oh, he's tired, and then he goes. If not, forget it. I don't understand this. I don't even understand this guy. Okay. That's it. I don't see what you about it. Like us, his love is special. He knows my heart. I can do for you. You actually read the Bible chapter and verse that kept you here. Or when you just told what was stated in the verse and you accepted it hook, line, and sinker and moved on, just like that. I, I do not understand now. Is there something I missed? Okay. I would advise you to go back. In fact, study it. Read it line by line to understand what you are actually entering into to avoid hard know. Because it's deeper than you can imagine. All right. Summoned this meeting for both of you. Yeah. I want everyone to listen to me. Any day, any day, I send you an error. And you notice that she is not in the house. Remind me. 
Because I don't like what both of you are doing. I don't like the games both of you are playing around. Sir, Chief, I'm, I'm not playing games. I'm always minding my business, Chief. No, Chief is, is not saying you two are playing games. All he's saying is that you and Kim should take note. Woman, that's not what I said. No, they know what I was saying. See, both of you are hiding and discussing. The reason I kept quiet is because you always disagree. You will agree, she will disagree. She will agree, you will disagree. If not, if not, you will see the color of my blood. Timothy, Kim, is what she's saying the truth? Kimberly? Timothy, am I not talking to human beings? Am I talking to trees and flowers? No, why would they answer you? Why would they talk? They know, listen, any day I notice it again, any day I notice it again, you, you will see the true color of my blood. Nonsense. His love is special. He knows my heart, yeah. He gives me joy. He gives me happiness. He's my lover. He's my lover. Rap for me, yeah. Don't break a moment. Rap for me, yeah. Don't break a Father will throw me out of this house. Okay? Do you want him to embarrass me some more? Calm down. Please, you, you have to me. stop this. Calm down, team. You have absolutely nothing to be scared of. Listen, the CCTVs are currently not working. I disconnected the system. You did? Yes, and I overheard my dad calling someone to come work on it. And the person told him tomorrow morning. So we're safe. Okay. What is it you want us to discuss? What is it? Are you serious? Are you really asking me this question? Why are you making me seem like I'm some sort of stranger to you? What is going on? You will not understand, Kim. If I act the way you want, your father will throw me out of here in, in less than two days. Perfect. Perfect. That's best for us. If he throws you out the next minute, you and I are out of this country. As a matter of fact, what are you even doing here? <laughs> And you think he will allow you out with what he's doing? Your father is smart. 
He's a smart man. Timothy, I sincerely do not know what you want. Yes, you're killing every bit of feelings and emotions I have for you. I am getting exhausted. And by the time I lose it all, I will leave you in this house and go far away where you will never see me again. Maybe when you're ready to be serious with your love life, you probably... I don't understand what this boy Timothy meant when he came here to enter rubbish. I believe he still came to ask you for the break. Because he needs to go see him, see his father, at least take care of himself. Sort one or two. Because it's long he left home. Well, I've, I've, I've heard him and I'll think over it. Chief, what are you thinking about? What have I done? I just want to remind you, no matter what, Timothy is somebody's son. He's a human being as well. I wonder why you are interfering in someone's case. Were you the one he talked to? Just grant him the leave. Let him go. Let him go. Anyway, like I said, I'll give it a thought. Uh, keep thinking. It's food. It's your own. Yes? Wow! Hey, what have I seen? Good to see you. Good to see you, Tim. You look good. How are you, Tim? I'm fine, Father Mike. How are you doing? Thank God. I'm sure my parents must have bombarded you with questions. Wow, they try. Hey! They tried a lot, but <laughs> I never accepted you told me anything. Okay. Uh, so, I hope you're on the right track. Uh, with the girl? Yes, yes. Um, but I think that it's time I start unveiling myself to avoid something going wrong. Yes. But first thing first, you go home and see your parents. I hope you're coming with me. Sure, I will. <laughs> sit down, sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We start going. Uh, yeah. All right. We have to. Am I joking? Yes. He will call me some hours ago asking my whereabouts. Then I took him there and got the flight to be here. Are you now sure him? of yes. this? Yes. Please come inside so you <laughs> will guard me here what you are saying. Yeah, darling. <laughs> uh oh. Who put you go? <laughs> Friend Kim is really worried. Have you heard from Timo? She hasn't seen him or heard from him. It's strange. 
to be honest with you, I have not seen him. As a matter of fact, I passed through his shop to hear people complaining about his attitude towards his new business. Listen, I suggest we should go and see his father. I'm just coming from there. Oh, you think I'm resting? No, I'm just coming from there. And the man said he hasn't even seen him or heard from him. Nobody knows where Timo is. It's so strange. Why would he behave like that? This whole thing is confusing. If he's not here, then where could he be? I don't know, but um, Kim feels he ran away because of the way his father treated him while he was staying with them. That's another issue on his own. Yes. But I think whatever be the problem, he should have at least come home. Let's talk about it. Whatever he's going through, I don't think this is the best way to go about it. It's just, it's just so strange. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how to figure out all these things. Like, I don't understand too much. People do not understand this is pattern. I just pray he's okay wherever he is. Yes. His love is special. He knows my heart. I'm so sorry. It was all for good. Mirabel, how's your family? I hope they are good. Yes, my dear brother. I told you both. And you called me. Father Mike, you have some explanations to make. But Dad, it wasn't Father Mike's fault. I made him promise me never to share this with anyone, no matter what. But I will explain everything to you, Father. Please. I'm sorry, Father. It wasn't Father Mike's fault. It was all my fault. And I was already on track with my adventure. Type of girl that you will fall in love with, Mom. and you would say, "Son, it was all worth it." Wow! What <laughs> Who is that man prepared to stand in a position? He's a noble man, a captain. He welcomed me with open arms. And with clear hearts, I truly called him Father. About the point we agreed that you would be calling him from time to time to forget me and rest me. What happened to you? Why did you stood so low to become a maid servant in another man's house? Father Mike, I was in the middle of a deep blue sea. And the fire and had no time to seek for ideas or guidance so i relied on my intuition i'm sorry father Mark. i'm truly sorry oh he's ready 
Wow. Well, let's move to the dining. I'm fine. Have I said? Really? So, we go? Sure. Um, sorry. This I have to marry right there. Like that, his love is special. He knows my heart, yeah. He gives me joy. He gives me happiness. He's my lover. He's my lover. Rap for me, yeah. Rap for me, yeah. Rap for me, yeah. Rap for me, yeah. This is delicious. Mm. It's been a long time I ate a well prepared meal like this. Mm -hmm. My dear, you made this soup so well. Thank you. You're welcome, my dear brother. Mm -hmm. You know I had to prepare something very nice mm -hmm. to enable you to fill up some places. <laughs> because you look to me like someone. I just returned from prison. Mm. You can say that again. So, this man you said you are having? I, I think I know him with that. I don't think so, Dad. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we have connections and interfaces, and you uh, know which stuff to reach. Dad, I know what you're coming with. But trust me, he is way below your league of friends. You see exactly why I didn't say anything from the beginning. That, these things are not done that way. But when I'm in don't worry. Don't worry. Everything will work out. Trust me. Mm. Mm. Don't worry, Dad. Right now, nothing can stand between me and this and Mrs. Hope. What? Dad? Enjoy your meal, girl. Chicken. For the mic. Good food is good food, especially oh, yeah. when it's homemade. I've been asking you to come in here. Don't worry. I know. I know. Um, I'll get to them later. For now, I came for you. Hmm? Yes. I want you to meet my parents. Your parents? Yes. I thought you told me that your parents are late. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Those were one of the lies I told you to keep saying. Hey! I would like to meet you. Yes. I mean, it. I would like to meet the parents of a good boy like you. They are looking forward to meeting you. I, I will not miss them to meet you. Hey! Let's go. Hey! 
Please, Chief, today is my birthday, and all I'm asking is for you to just allow him to come with me. I just want to cut my cake, take pictures, drink juice, and before evening she's back. Please. Chief, please. Jennifer is, is not an outsider. She understands what is on board. She knows the reason you stopped Kim from coming out. But today is different for her. Birthdays, like she said, is something one spends and celebrates once every year. Let's allow our daughter to go with Jennifer. I mean, she's remained in that place for too long. Okay, if she were to be a working class girl, 
Do you have stopped her from going to work? Is it because she's an obedient child and has agreed to remain in that place? She's been there for too long. Please. So after all this your long episode, if I say no, you hold it against me? <laughs> Is that a yes, sir? She's in her room. Oh my god! Thank you so much, Chief. Thank you. Mommy, thank you so much. Thank you, God. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say that? Because I don't want her to keep being stuck in that room. Because it might affect her psychologically. I don't know. I don't want that for my child. It's alright. Girlfriend, I thought you said we're going to your house. Yes, but um, firstly, I want us to stop at the supermarket to get one or two. Then we go home and enjoy. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for bringing me out today. My head would have exploded in that house. You don't have to think. What are friends for? <laughs> it's alright. Let's go. Thank you. I missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> I'm happy to see you. Like, I can't wait. I can't wait for you. No, I mean, I can't wait for us to get home. Okay. And then, geez, and enjoy. <laughs> Close, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Now, we go. I don't understand you, Jenny. You told me we are going somewhere only for you to bring me here and told me you want to see someone in the car. I just wanted to say hi to you someone then we continue. continue no problems would you please go to the castle hide to the person and come back let's go kim calm down you're making me to lose trust where Just you are first i'm not going you think i'm joking <laughs> oh god kim don't be like your father let's just go why are you baby like your father <laughs> Joe. So Joe is the person you wanted to say hello to. Yes. Hello, Kim. <laughs> mm. What in God's name is going on, Jenny? Joe! Mm. <laughs> the thing is that I, I'm surprised as you are when uh, Timothy drove into my company and started telling me stories. Stories about what? Mm, a lot. Where did he get the car from? Let me tell you. A lot. You're going to find out. Just come on. Relax. No, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. What is going on? Let's go to my house. My family is waiting for us. There, you will know everything. Are you serious? All the answers to your questions. I wish you in my family house. <laughs> Let's go. Where's your father, the carpenter? Hmm. <laughs> that one too is another story altogether. We're just realizing that everything has been <laughs> You mean the man you introduced to us as your father is not your father? Yes. Why in God's name did you do all of that? Kim, I understand you have questions and I have answers for you. Let's go to my family house. Let's go meet my family. Let's go.
Princess. Ma'am. What are you saying? Ma'am, it's just that I've heard Jenny and Sister Ken discussing about something before leaving the house. I don't understand. What did you hear? Is she not free to go see someone? Or did you overhear them say they want to go see a man? No, no, Mom. So what did you hear? Mm, I'm not pretty sure. Francis, I don't trust you. It's like you know something and you're hiding it from me. No, Mom. I'm sure of what I heard. That's a lie. It's either you're covering off your sister or she sent you to come find out if I overheard them as well. No, Mom. I'm only concerned. Like, I don't want a situation where back. If dad comes back and I say something different, you mm know, -hmm. there's no problem with that. If your father should ask you, tell him you don't know. Simple. Or better still remind him in his presence, Jenny took him. Mm -hmm. That was exactly what happened. Just stop this your Like that, his love is special. He knows my heart, yeah. He gives me joy. He gives me happiness. And uh, the truth is that we have something like this again in Abuja, in Accra, in South Africa, and in New York. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, hopefully, I will be traveling with you and showing you other ones too. You know? My father loves to make sure we have a baby everywhere we take vacation. Well, I had to put in one or two contributions when we're designing this house. This area is my design so that you can Chill. have a swimming pool here. You know how it is. I <laughs> hope you like it. Yeah, I mean, this is amazing now. I couldn't have met you if I didn't disguise myself to become a poor, you know, poor happy man. The one you had pity on. <laughs> Lots of them. So many of them with awkward characters. It became too much. I was drunk. I knew that the only way out was to disguise myself and change my personality to that of a low life. It was all a game. It was all a game. Baby, see, I need money. I want to buy my groceries. I want to buy um, and out, you know, and um, some other small, small things like that. It's cool to make my education faster. I need to be okay to, you know, to do my exams. <laughs> Babe, I just told you something. Yeah, I was just. Wear your seatbelt, please. I can make noise. I was just trying to calculate, you know, how much all of that will cost. Okay. Um, I have a pen on the bio. 
I'm just gonna leave it here. <laughs> mm. Okay. My handouts are um, 200,000. 200. Um, my toiletries. Say 250,000. else I need to change my panties and my bra my own this saying 200 um how the new watch <laughs> uh, Rolex um okay no Rolex is expensive okay I'm just buy a very good watch say 500 we give until let's say like four million. Wait, five hundred what? Thousand. Ah. <laughs> then maybe say give until let's say five, four million. Four million. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. That's not much. Yeah, of course. Are you sure that's all you want? I will just manage it for now. I maybe two weeks time out. I'm then need something. Else. Then for now, that can be fine. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes, baby. So if, why I give me the money? Why I give me? I, I, let me check. Um, I'm sure you accept Bitcoin, right? Do you have a wallet? What's oh, Bitcoin? I don't do Bitcoin. Just, oh. give, just do me a check. Okay, check. Mm -hmm. Well, check is outdated. I'm sure that that check might bounce in the bank. So I'll give you Bitcoin. You can buy whatever you want. I said, let's go home. I need to see how she's faring so we can know Before we get home, she should be like, just back. To get better track, I, like, like now, 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 now. Then we'll come back see her later. All right. It's okay. How much? How much would you get? It's not just one sister. Right? Just tell me how much you get, because I need you to cheer. All right? <laughs> Are you listening to me? The bad what? My birthday. Your birthday? Yes, baby. I want to celebrate my birthday. I want to make it big. It's a couple of times. Diane, Diane. Last week you were on Instagram talking about how awesome your birthday was a while ago. Does your birthday now happen every six months? Hmm? Listen. That stuff. I, I I did that to, to get some some attention, you know, like to get money from him and stuff. And stuff. So this time, are you doing this to get someone's attention? Hmm? What do you mean? That's not fair. Wait, are you saying that I am using it for business? I'm asking you. How come your birth dates on Instagram, Facebook? YouTube and the rest of the social media are different. Huh? Different birthdays, different era, different times. Sweetheart, I just explained something to you right now, right? I don't get fine. Just forget about it. Because I, I see I see you you are making just of me, right? You're making fun of me. And it's not funny. Just forget about it. It's fine. Please. Do 
should not come close to me or my body. Do you understand? Will one million be enough for your birthday? Maybe so what? I just want to know what it will take. Leave me alone. Yeah. Look at you. You have head money. You have head money. You have baby me. Yeah. I thought you wanted to speak. Go to bed. I want to kiss you. I don't know how long you celebrate your birthday. No! B. Yes. Why are you staying at me like that for? Who did they do? Nothing. You're amazing. And I can't just imagine you in another man's arms. <sighs> Maybe I think we have to take this to another level. First of all, I do not know what you mean by that. And secondly, I am so innocent of all your positions, George. <laughs> no problem, Miss <laughs> Complainant. <laughs> But hey, on a serious note, I want us to take it to the next level. All I can think of is you as my wife. Marry me. I want us to spend the rest of our lives together. Will you marry me? ever use the money I give you before demanding for more? I do not understand. Like, maybe sometimes you just come out from nowhere and then ask me strange questions. I don't understand. Wait, do you think I save all those money? Oh, or you give them to me to save because I do not understand. And the way you confidently demand for more, it seems like you know where I stash them. Right? Okay, right about now, I'm confused. What are you driving at exactly? Have you ever wondered how I make all that money? What I do for a living? We listen. It's not all men that like to be asked such questions, okay? I'm sorry, I'm... I'm sorry for not asking you in the first place. I'm not bad. It's my fault. I'm very it's sorry. Okay. Forgive me. Okay, baby, so... What do you do for a living? It's too late to talk about that. Find out yourself. Listen, it's not like I don't know how to cook. I cook very well, my love. You know. But you see, this people's food I wish to buy. The food is very good. It tastes better than my own. Way better. You can't even compare. And you know me. I can't begin to pretend. I must say the truth. Okay? Yes, uh, Can you listen to yourself? So what you're trying to tell me is that. All these families don't cook at home because the food they get outside 
is nice. Yes. Yes. But you see, you, in fact, I regret saying the truth to you. I regret being played to you. And this is why most girls pretend this is it. <laughs> it's none of my business. Yes. But listen, this is the last time I will spend my money and eat out. I can fool the bills for now at least. Baby, listen, I got... Diana. 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 Diana, wake up. Wake up, please. Wake up. Please. I'm hungry. Don't make me fool. I'm hungry. Go to the kitchen and cook something for us to eat. Come on, please. What is that? I thought we are done with this issue. Done with this issue? The only thing we are done with is the fact that you have made up your mind to cook. And that's what you're going to do now. No, baby, come on. Baby, I, I told you that I would cook the beer. I told you I volunteered. Me, to Diane, I know you, okay? This is the games you play. You're not serious. How long will you continue to do this? Huh? At the end of the day, I'll be the one to pay the bills. And you would find a way to skin more money out of me. Huh? Listen, if you are not going into that kitchen to cook right now, just know that from this moment, I'm not going to give you a damn. No matter how you do it. Don't pay me! Babe? What kind of girl? What kind of girl? A useless woman do I have in my life? A grown up girl. In this day and time, cannot cook. She can't cook. She can't do anything. She can't do anything for me as a man. She's useless to me. What is this? All she cares about is to demand for money, money for this, money for that. Just spending my money. That's all she knows how to do. Huh? But to do something useful, she won't. No. Can go on like this. Can go on like this. Can. Can. This minute, is this hair, that hair, new phone, this stuff, that that, this stuff, all sucking me. It's like you put straw in my body and it's trying to suck me dry. I don't go to all life. I will lose my mind. I will definitely lose my mind. Like I'm losing my mind right now. I need some peace in my life. What kind of girl is this? I'm tired. I'm tired. Look at the way I'm here ranting like a madman. I'm restless. I hear. I've met so many of them. Most of them will pop up. You know, the drama was too much. That's what I'm you to. This guy is my personality. Put down my life. Do you see us today? Francis! Ah. Francis! 
Mom, I'm here. Where was Timothy that was washing this guy a while ago? Where did he go? It's not here. I, I don't know. Maybe he's inside. Or probably he went to the restaurant. Go look for him and give him this list to go buy all these listed items. It's for night food. Okay. Because if I change my mind now and send you, that is when you have all the time to go greet all your friends along the street. Baby Tisha. And then tell you what. But mom, what is wrong in me greeting my friends, saying hi to one or two people? That the is the point. You will spend all the time greeting them, thereby coming back late. Go give this thing to Timothy. Let him buy for me. His head is still on his neck. Oh, you share the macaron. Okay. Mm. Remember, he's going to live one day. And I still be here for you. Uh, don't worry, let that time come first. We will know how to cross the bridge. But for now, go and give him to buy these things for me. Thank you very much. Okay, Mom. Mm -hmm. Everything is not about money and wealth, but determination in one's life matters. In this life, you must give to receive. If you give love, you must receive love. If you give joy, you will feel joy. Big man turns to big man on the bus here, on the bus here. Big man turns to big man. He will listen, he will listen, but man has no say. No. Big man turns to big man on the bus here, on the bus here. He will listen. Who make best out of things? Oh. Remember, you can't cross the ocean except you have courage. This life is what happens to you when you are busy making other plans. Mm. The best thing in the What am I saying? <laughs> Jenny. This is you, right? So up to date, you're still working on your ten toes. You don't have a car. <laughs> Drama queen. Busy body. How are you? Well, obviously, you're looking frustrated. Tell me, how is Kim? It's very obvious your job less today, and you don't have anything to And. For your information, my friend Kim is very fine. She's very, very fine and she's happy. Mm. Are you okay? Are you sure she's happy? Very happy. Because from the little information I gathered, she left me. Almighty Benjamin, one of you. She left me for one useless, local, stupid boy that is now working for her father as a boy boy. She left a giant like me. Odogu like me for that riffraff. This is she not a waste of spend? All you know is money and... Where's that? I don't pay you. Listen, there is nothing more to life than the frustration that hits you with so Talk, 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 talk. That is all you know how to do. And you're still in this position with this cheap wears on you. Listen, like I said before, no man will love you. Nobody will marry you. Okay, look at it. Are you going my way so I can just drop you off? I will never go your way. I will even go my way. Because it's very obvious you're frustrated. <laughs> and if you're not frustrated, you will not leave your car as the big boy you claim you are. So calm down to come and argue with somebody you feel is nothing. But my dear, what do you know? Nothing. Go home and start this. They are waiting for you. Look at you. What are you up to now? Huh? Prostitute. Right? Prostitute. 
You are nothing but a frustrated oh, prostitute. Baby girl. Go to the road. Baby boy. Should I say baby girl or baby boy? Animal. Oh, hey, don't even some. touch me. You need some so that you feel alright. Because as I'm seeing you right now, you're not feeling alright. You need a lot of. Really? Yeah. I will smack you with this, my walking stick, right now if you talk more than your mouth. You don't know me. Do you know who I am? Huh? You don't have respect? Uh. Animal. Look at her. Go to the streets. That is where you belong. Let me go my way. Frustrated cannibal. <laughs> All of you will suffer. All of you will suffer. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Yes. Everything is not about money and wealth, but determination in one's life matters. In this life. But it will be too bad that uh, you know about how to help me and you are not doing anything. Thank God you know the answer already, Chief. So break it up. But um, Reverend Father, let us not preempt over this issue. What I know is that you are, you know, in the door of the education. Where my son is, help me out. You, Chief? Hmm. No, your son will be working. Well, I know I may be going against your rules, but I'm like a father. Okay, I, I, I should know where my son is and how he's married. Still, it is not the right thing to do, Chief. Your son will be like you. Oh, it's alright. What I, I take it all from me. I, I'm ready to pay any price. Oh, as long as you can tell me the location. Even if I'm going to be on their best, Chief, everything will be on my own terms. Yeah. Well, no, that then you were out there now. No, 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 Chief. No woman is coming with us. Yeah. Why, yeah. Sam? Okay. Thank you, good brother. Thank you. I'd like to ask you a very simple question. Go ahead, my love. What if? Tomorrow, we'll find out that Timothy is a prince, probably from another kingdom or son of a wealthy man. And just trying to get me as the love of his life and you all are treating him like this. What if that happens and he decides not to have anything to do with me again? This is so good. Is this what you call a simple question? You know, I just felt it now. Oh, what if? I don't get it. I don't see why a full grown man like Timothy. Will accept the same us. And his father stood for him for nothing. I don't know. I've never treated him bad. I've always treated him like my own son. But if one day he wants to settle scores, it's us. He should face your father. I mean, he will heartless father to take his pound of flesh. And not me. So, so mom, your son Samson, will you ever allow him to go through all of this? What for? I know to know is doing all this for now. But to what end? To put the point to who? And I ask again, for what purpose? He left his only source of income to no one to attend to it, like you said. I mean, there is more to things that meets the eyes. Timothy okay. has not fully told us who he really is. So let, me, let me ask you, my child. Is this what you call a simple question? Yes, mom. It's very simple. I just mm -hmm. wanted to know. 
because of late I've been having this wild imagination. Are you serious? Yeah. What is keeping to my team? Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, wait, look, I'll put it down for me. Ah, Tim. Tim, see this. I don't know. Tim, is this where you are? Do you know him? Yeah. Um, um, uh, yes. Um, uh, we, we went to his house to work. My father and I went to his house to, to do an old forestry work uh, some time ago. Good day, sir. What were you shocked about? Sir? Idiot. Who asked you? Every time you're running your mouth. If you are less busy, go to the kitchen and find yourself something doing. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, uh, you're welcome, sir. Uh, my father. Sorry about that, Chief. Uh, it's not a problem, and it is exactly the way the young man said it. I stepped in here, saw him, and was so surprised. <laughs> I can't remember when last we met. <laughs> Chief, please sit. Let me get Thank you a seat. You cannot be standing. Yes, as our I guest. Oh, I can't remember. Last we we saw ourselves. <laughs> hey, it should be maybe twelve years. Way back and oh, yes, oh, uh, yes, it's been a long time. It's been a while. <laughs> How could you remember? Oh, he, he was here with me then. <laughs> he barely did not forget anything once he has seen it once. <laughs> Father, you are welcome. Thank you, Chief. Uh, please be fast. Get a seat for the father. Remember to get us something. your father and Reverend Mike doing in my, in my father's house? I don't know. I, I don't understand what is going on. Okay? But the last time I went over to give them some wine glass, I overheard them talking about uh, the contract from, from the company that needs to be reactivated. But I know that's not why my father is here. My God feeling tells me that he's here for something else. That's not why he's here. They were saying that just to disguise their conversation, so I don't get the true meaning of what they were talking about. I'm confused. I'm so, so confused. How did these men even meet each other? This can't be coincidence. It can't be. 
I wish I can get to Father Mike to find out what my father is up to. Mm -mm. I doubt if it's your father. I think it's my father that's up to something. No. No. For Father Mike to come along, it's a string my father is pulling. I am so sure. <sighs> Nevertheless, I still need to speak with my mother. She must know what my father is up to. Let me try and find out if I can get some information from her. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Chief, if there is a better way and a better company to do it, Think you are in the right place. I said <laughs> exactly what I told them when we were discussing this. I, I told them that you are the best hands to consult. And that's why I had to make the journey myself. You did well. But this time around, <laughs> you will see the latest technology in town. <laughs> I'm happy to hear this. <laughs> I'm so happy. And um, about that young man. I want you to take him as your own. He is a good boy. The last time I experienced him. Wonder why you are so worried about a Casanova. A lousy lover boy who thinks of the best way to woo my daughter is by giving me flower and service. <laughs> Never mind. You will see what I will do to him. He will be the person to run away. The way you carry his back and run away from this house, <laughs> it will be a surprise to me. That was when I'm done with you. How did it go? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. But I bet it's not a pleasant work for you. Um, how could you speak for someone and then get up last night and just How could you not speak with him? What way to work? How could we speak with you? Wade is practically a maid in that house. We will not the business. And anything we do by to jeopardize his cover, which she almost did when he called him by name. But he was smart enough to cover him. Don't do this. What's with the I don't understand what both of you are saying about my son that you went to say. Actually, we did not go to the What do you mean by you do not go to see Timothy? Wait, did you see him? Uh, see, no. Uh, it's not seen as you are saying it. See, brother, you went there on business. But chief went there, you know where you saw it. So, but do you people see my son? Mm -hmm. Is he fine? Um, going there is a wrong call. I don't know if you're fine. Would you please sit down? Now I understand. You both have done. Yes. When next Timothy visit again, I will definitely do my And I will stop all day. Period. Because I don't understand all this. This one say this, this one say the other one. I don't understand. Ah. 
Please, help me to buy that thing I told you. Thank you very much. Uh, that's all right. Uh, tell Timothy that he should change to something and join me. Why? Can you let that young man be? He's been working all day. He's tired already. Can you hear yourself? I should allow him to stay in the house with you and Kim. So when I come back, our stories will start flying around. You know what I mean? What do you mean by that? Just know when you start insulting me. And I take exception to that. You're not insulting me. What's that supposed to mean? I don't have your time. Where is Njoku? His love is special. He does my heart Oh yes, Chief. You know, I'm a very busy man, but I always keep my promises. Hold on, let me get to you the contract. There is a man of his ways. Um, Chief, I, I hope you can trust me. Document properly. No, I've made this entire I'm aware. I'm aware of what the contract is all about. All right. There we go. So you have to sign at this particular place. Your signature and your name. Uh, Chief, don't be too good to sign. Sure. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on it. I'm on All right, sign your then. Flip. Flip. What is it? What is it? With the information we gathered and with what you're telling us, it shows that you are avoiding so many things back from us. Oh no, detective, not at all. I have told you everything you needed to know about this matter. Mr. Benjamin accosted me on the road with documents of the contract we needed to execute for me to sign to save time. And while we're on it, Timothy ran to us. The next thing we had was gunshot that took him to the hospital. And that's all. Chief, after interrogating your wife and your daughter, with the information we gather, it shows that the young man is not a stranger to this family. Oh, well, yeah, you're right. Not, not at all. He's not a stranger, yeah? He's not. Then you should know more than you're telling me, Chief. We're trying to come out of the danger. We need to say we've been working hand in hand with him. I don't see why the police will leave what happened and begin to ask us different questions. It means the police have been tracking Benjamin. Benjamin. I have not seen someone that does not share anything with his family, but prefer to share it with outsiders. Maybe there are crimes Benjamin has committed which we do not know about. So by tomorrow, if people should if police should find out, he should go in and start his punishment and then drag my family and I into this. No! Chief, I should be asking you. The way the police are after Benjamin, are you going to tell me it's just because Timothy was shot? Now let's tell ourselves the truth. Okay, look at it. The king you said you do not want him to get closer to is the person you sent to go spend the night with him with Francis at the hospital. Why didn't you go to stay with him instead? 
Father sent the children to go there. You were saving him. Don't go, don't touch, don't smooch. And you sent her yourself to go stay with him overnight at the hospital, no? Chief, for three days now, Benjamin is nowhere to be found. Even to check up on the young man that took a bullet for him, it's like a cause. Maybe he has an idea that your people are after him. Chief, he knows we've been after him for years. Just that he's been trying to keep himself clean. Though this time around, we have a lead that connects to why he was wanted dead. After many years? That's something deep. Yes, Chief. And if those and if those assassins after him tries to get him before us and couldn't, they will go after everything Benjamin loves and everything that is close to him. Wait a moment. Which means my family's life is in danger. Chief, it's your call to make. Anyway, I will make one or two calls and I'll get back to you. Always at your service because there's no time.
What is the meaning of this? Chief, what is the meaning of this? Huh? Yes, who are you? We are the officers of the law. Officer of which law? Federal Republic of Nigeria. Yes, Mr. You have the right to remain silent, because whatever you say or do now will be used against you in the court. Of Very beautiful advice. Just follow them. Chief, I want to get you correctly. What is the meaning of this nonsense you're creating here? You will explain to them who will get to the station. What is my offense? Police Move is your friend. Follow them. What is my offense? Move. I will move you. Stay looking for pens. Well, police is your friend. They follow them. They will not. They will not eat you. Chief, mark my words. You will regret this. You must regret this. You call this this yellow man for me. Huh? No problem. I will see your boss, and both of you must be fired. All right. Move it. Don't freaking touch me. Move it. Move. You heard you him. He's talking forced. about fire. 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 You don't want to be forced. He should be searched. He has gone. Fire. After everything I did for you, Chief. You don't know who I am. Benjamin, one of Europe. You are messing with me. Mr. Benjamin, move it. Everything is not about money and wealth But determination in one's life matters In this life you must give to receive If you give love you must receive love If you give joy you will feel joy Man turns to a big man on the Bazia, on the Bazia. Big man turns to a big man. He will listen, he will listen. But man has no say. No. Big man turns to a big man on the Bazia, on the Bazia. He will listen. Now I get it. Now I understand it all too. I can now see the light at the dark end of the tunnel. And I wonder severally how you jumped in the gap to take. Who knows what would have happened? You could have been me in this your position. Even us. And I thought it this way. Many young men of your age would have preferred that I take the bullet and die. So they will have access to my daughter and take her completely. And I thought it this way. What kind of a Yes. From the depth of my heart. Forgive me. I'm sorry. Despite my compagnon's attitude towards me, you still did not march. Thank you. So much. So much. Forgive me for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Kim. 
the permission Timothy took was for his own good. He needs his father to take care of him as well. So worry not. That shouldn't stop him from calling me. Maybe his father did not allow him. He wants him to take proper rest. He's resting. He can't call. He can't send text message. Mama was there for him when he was at the hospital. Ah, you worry a lot. Can you let him be? It may break. You understand. You don't really understand. You make me understand. Make me understand. If there is anything you know which I do not know, let me know now. Mm. Only. <laughs> Son, I forbid you from making calls or testing. And if you mistakenly on any of your phones, for you to be contacted, Honestly, whatever I tell you, you'll be brave enough to take it from me. Dad, can you hear what she said? Of course you can, Will. You sure stands with me. Yes. That's enough. Yeah. How on earth could you take bullets for a stupid person and none of them did it fit to tell me what is going on? I've had enough of you in that house. It's high time you moved on to life. It's as simple as I know you're my parents, by no means lie to disobey you, but I just need to make one call. Just one call. So, it will be a good idea if I enforce the idea of baby sitting in this house all in the day. So, you won't like the idea of enforcing the idea of baby sitting in this house all because of this nonsense. You keep reminding me of your impudent adventure or in the name of looking for a future wife. Don't you remind me of that. I understand that you're both my parents. I can't explain. All I'm just asking for is one call. Just one call. That's enough. Allow him to come back. No, I don't think so. Do I also have a good one? I'm thinking to what you have a father's shot to my mother. But I will be a good one. So, they decided to stay back without trying to reach out to me. That wasn't the agreement. <laughs> yes, my parents may have treated him back, but I didn't partake in that. He knows I love him. They have just reached out to me. Yes, yeah, see, I, I know this is not the right thing to do, but I'll take my chances. I will go straight to their house. I need to talk. Yes, I have to go. I need to talk to them one on one. And you think they were welcome with the open hands? Even if they did, I will go. I have tried my best. Other than sitting here and assuming this, this, this. Maybe, maybe something is even wrong with him. I need to get the details of what's going on. He's right here. You know. Yes. As a woman, I will do the same. Until I'm sure I've gone wrong, I will stop. As a man, I'm telling you that it's not right to do. But that's why I have you here. That's why we're having this conversation. I'm proposing that you guys should go with me. So when do you intend to go? I suggest you go. And if you don't see them, they will come back. Okay? I do. 
Let's wait till we get. If I don't get the name for you, till we Fair enough. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> But for your father to refuse you recognizing to your second family, it's wrong. That's why I want you to talk to them. I don't want you to disobey them and, and start a necessary war with my father. That's because you're a good son. Many would have welcomed the war, but it's a wrong choice. Thank you, Father. Please, can we go now? The more we wait, the more time we waste, and the more things get out of hand. No, no, no problem. We can go now. We can go Driver? The princess correct to the back. Timothy here that you have my hand all the while because he came for your daughter with my son. Eh? Eh? Uh, uh, uh. Chief Ezra. Tell me, I'm not telling me the truth. Well, it wasn't my plan, so please. All this one. Mm -hmm. I didn't know from the start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a few. Wow. Hmm. Now I know the meaning. A simple man who sees the world from a different view. Hmm. Before I decided to serve you and your family for one year, I've already made up my mind to forgive for anything that you do against me. It was a private thing for the love of one woman. Is it what for that, Jensu? We want Jensu to pay for all of us. Chief <laughs> Ezekiel, this is serious. In fact, the celebration will continue inside my house. Let me retaliate and revenge. <laughs> Let us go. Aye! Chief Ezekiel, follow me. Simona, back! Simona, back! I see you. Come on, Baba. I see you. Hey, come on, come on. You go to the gate. I 
Tá 